Hello, everybody. So, Streamlabs is having some issues today. You may notice that the, um, the, like, tickers at the top of the screen that show, like, the, uh, member count and, uh, the recent donations and stuff like that. Hey, you may notice that it's gone. The Streamlabs is bugging out like crazy today. So, unfortunately, we won't have any of that type of stuff on the screen. But it is what it is. We can still, uh, stream, thankfully. I was afraid that it wasn't gonna work, but... It does seem like it's working fine. So, uh, let's... Oh, wait, there's Fallow here. Oh, wow. I didn't know Fallow Deer could be over here. Alright, well, let's get to Red Deer time. It really does, Johnny. Like, it's so strange not seeing everything on screen. It definitely is very odd. How's everybody doing, though? Uh, Ballers Prod, Nicole, John, Johnny, Max, Cole, Lil Arrow... Drew, Cam, how's everybody doing? Hey, Hank, how's it going, man? How you doing? Uh, Sizek, how's it going, dude? Hey, Ben, you like the bear aesthetic? Eh, I guess it's okay. I'm probably just not used to it, but this should be the only time that it's like that. It should be uh, back to normal soon. Oh, now that we reset the time, let's go to the main menu. So, uh, let's go ahead and uh, talk about the title. Yes, I have found a route where I can kill 20 stags in 10 minutes with picking every single one of them up. Now it's just barely 20 in 10 minutes, but it is possible. I was able to do it with a couple of my zones. So we're gonna see if we can uh, keep that type of a pace up today. However, not seeing a lot of shooter stags off the bat, but we do have a couple over here, so we can take these two out. Oh, and also guys, I'm not taxing any of the small level 9s anymore. Because of how many we're getting to spawn with this method, uh, we're not going to be taxing any of these small diamonds. Only the ones that are special in one way or another. Uh, Cannon, thank you so much for the super chat, dude. I'm glad that that's at least, uh, popping up on screen. Thank you so much, dude. Really appreciate it. Hope you're having a fantastic day, and I hope you're enjoying Call of the Wild. Nice, Nicole. That's awesome. Hey, Bottom Boy, how's it going, dude? Glad you could make it to another stream. Hope you've been doing well. But guys, I did a bit of zone swapping last night, so basically what I did was I shot a bunch of the female hinds in this zone right here. And then I shot a bunch of stags from these zones over here and like uh, this river zone. And I got them to swap. So now we have absolutely loaded zones at this location. Uh, right now it looks like a lot of them have not arrived at their drink zone. I know that for a fact because there was five last night when I logged off. But uh, we will go ahead and take this guy down. And then it's this other herd that I did the swapping with. Yeah, bottom boy. <laughs> I've been trying so hard to get it to be like the best possible grinding setup I could. I spent the entire day yesterday grinding red deer. Trying to like cultivate the herds to a point where I really thought that they were perfect. And this is only one of the herds. The other one is not here yet since we just changed the time. But, uh, run number two, we should see a ton of stags throughout here. That's a four. He gets to live. There we go. Beautiful. Yeah, go for it, uh, Nicole. Uh, no, Gecko. I don't really play Hirschfelden, and I've heard a lot of people say that it's not good, so I just haven't bothered with it. I mean, maybe one of these days we'll check out the new Hirschfelden. It really is, bottom boy. Like, it is such a fast method of being able to claim all your trophies. I really don't understand why more people don't do it. I mean, sure, you lose out on some uh, lakes that you could be hunting, but honestly, when you get to the point in the grind that I am, I've got a lot of lakes that I don't really need to hunt anymore because they just do not have any stags. Speaking of stags, there's one of the late ones. Uh, this guy's floating, so we'll get him later. Not gonna waste time waiting. 
Nice, Brady. That's awesome. Hey, Levi. Yeah, Levi, we are that dialed in. Once all of our herds actually get to their zones, because right now they're not all at their zones. But uh, once they are, we'll be able to just bam, 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 back to back. Smoke a ton of stags in 10 minutes. Last night I was able to get 19 in 10 minutes. That was the most I could get. And then I grabbed the 20th one like right after 10 minutes hit. So approximately 20 in 10 minutes and that's with claiming everything. I believe there was like two or three that I didn't claim. Oh, and I just got a, a notification from Streamlabs. Oh, okay, they're just addressing what's going on with the, um, with the, the, like, widgets not being available for Streamlabs at the moment. So it was basically just saying that currently Amazon services is offline, and that's why I'm not seeing any of my widgets. So that's unfortunate. Bottom boy, welcome, my dude. Welcome back to the Scarecrew. Enjoy the green name and chat special badge talk on all the awesome emotes. Ability to use commands, access to private Discord channels, once you link Discord to YouTube, and access to my scrap content on the channel. Really appreciate it, dude. Welcome back. And, uh, Cannon, thank you for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate that. Super generous, man, as always. Super generous. Hey, Archie, how's it going, dude? I know I can't believe some of the stuff you've been getting for the Red Deer. I'm jealous of that mythical Mela, dude. I'm so jealous of it. That thing is absolutely beautiful. Okay, I don't actually see a stag there. That's a little odd. Normally there's a stag right there. Yeah, it's not bad, King Duff. That's pretty good. I'd say that's about the normal that I was always able to get was roughly like 50 or 60 per hour. So yeah, that's pretty good. The only way that I'm able to get 20 in 10 minutes at the moment is because I've fine-tuned my setup over the course of the last week. Like, I've probably put, I'd say, 50 or 60 hours into grinding Red Deer during the last seven days. Probably 50, I'd say. Well, that didn't get neck bone. That's unfortunate. It is what it is, though. No, don't don't place that there. No, stop placing waypoints. I'm trying to fast travel. <laughs> uh, yes, Wade. They are rare. Highbald, melanistic, and albino are all rare for the red deer. And the uh, melanistic and albino are actually quite rare. Like very rare. To be honest, I feel like they made albino more rare than it used to be, because I've only seen one albino stag since the update. I definitely feel like they made them even more rare than they already were. Ah, uh, we failed both of those other shots, so... Or wait, no we didn't. There he is. For a second I thought we whiffed both of those. What score would I consider a big whitetail? Ah, uh, like, probably 268 plus would be a really big one. Yeah, pretty much, Max. That's how it is, though. You gotta fast travel a lot for a grind like this. There we go. There's some thick boys. So it looks like a lot of them have moved over here for this run. And this is something I've noticed. There is a lot of, um... There's a lot of moving around. And yes, I have been changing up the lakes. For uh, whoever just asked that in chat. I have been changing up my lakes because... I've noticed that these lakes are where a lot of them are traveling when they disappear. Like whenever I notice some stags are missing from the zones I hunt, they're typically going over here. And so I just added this into my rotation. Oh. Can we get that? Probably not. Uh, yes, Auden, it is. That is definitely a rare. Now, I believe there's a diamond at this lake, if I'm not mistaken. I left a diamond here last night. 
Uh, I don't compare myself to other people, ballers. It's not a good way to, like, uh, you know, think as a creator. I don't try to compare myself to anybody. We're all different. We all do our own thing. I kind of like it as a mystery, bottom boy. I kind of prefer not knowing exactly how rare things are. Pretty sure there's a level 9 over here somewhere at least. Almost positive I saw him here. Well, anyway, there's one somewhere on the map. Come on. No, dude, why? Ah, uh, she moved at the worst time. Oh, there's the legendary. That's him. Okay, so we'll take him out in a bit. Yeah, that would be nice, Johnny. I could see that being a good idea, getting like a, at least a list of what's rare. That would be nice, being able to know what a rare is and what isn't rare. All right, I guess we'll get the diamond uh, next run. I'm thinking about getting another tent over on the other side. Nice, Odd. That's awesome. Splinter and Crow are literally the same person? We are. Uh, if you didn't know, we're twins. Not really, but really. Yeah, true, Johnny, true. It would be nice if we could just open the codex and see what's rare. I just remembered, I forgot to grab this one. Where is he? Somewhere over there we forgot to grab one. At least I think. Definitely missed that mythical as well because that hind moved in front of him. Hey, CJO, how's it going, dude? Uh, not really, Keaton. Multiplayer usually has some issues, so I try not to do, like, multiplayer grinds. You never know when something could bug out and cause, like, some desynchronization and cause me to mess up a great one. I know, right, Bottom Boy? It's kind of crazy, like, just how often they change how rare stuff is. Like... I don't get why it gets changed so much considering, for the most part, people were happy with the rarity. I don't know why stuff like the, uh, the brown cape buffaloes or the light brown turkeys needed to become a common. Like, I, I don't see why that was necessary. But it is what it is. I guess they probably have their reasonings. Just seems strange to me. Especially the light brown turkey, like... I still don't understand why that's considered a common now. There's just way too many of them. Okay, there's that one. Nice, Max. That's awesome. Yeah, I don't get it either, Johnny. Like, that that one for sure seems like it should be at least uncommon. Three rare reds from the grind. Nice, Maverick. That's awesome. Rares have been few and far between for me. Like, I've barely been finding any rares during this grind. It's kind of crazy just how few have shown up. What's my favorite map? Tiaboro is. Hey, Keaton, how's it going, dude? Good to see you. All right, let's main menu now that we've fast traveled. Um, I bet they will, bottom boy. I bet they will. They did mention that it is a possibility. All right, let's head over here. This is kind of the area I've been starting my runs recently. Oh, really, Johnny? I didn't know that.
How many zones do I farm? I don't count zones, I just talk about the lakes because the zones move a lot. Pretty much this entire left side I hunt. Pretty much the entire left side besides this lake and then I also hunt uh, this one that's kind of on the right side. Nice mythical. Okay. That's a beauty right there. Whoa, buddy, stop moving. Yeah, that's right. Nice mythical, okay. That was a bad shot. Where did all these come from? There was definitely not three shooters here before, I don't think. Also, how is he not going down already? Oh, I didn't stop it, Walker. I just stopped streaming it. I stopped streaming the bear grind because it wasn't a fun grind for me. I still do it. I just don't grind them on stream because I don't enjoy grinding black bear, so it's not a very enjoyable thing to watch. I have a lot more fun with Red Deer, which is why I stream that instead. Oh yeah, I could definitely see that gauge. It definitely has that kind of a look to it. Quite a strange mythical, to be honest. You know, what's crazy is that particular one that only has like one tine on the beam, like this guy right here. I have not been seeing many of them until now. Like this particular antler. I always saw the one that scored higher. I don't know why I'm suddenly seeing this one. I feel like I've never seen it before until now. Or maybe it just used to be on level 7s? I don't know. But it's strange. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, I'd say we hit him a few times. I think it's safe to say we at least got him a couple times. Uh, cause the 308's got inaccuracies at the moment, Isaac. I have had multiple occasions where I've messed up a diamond with the 308 because it hit far to the right at 300 meters. And because I take a lot of long range shots on the diamonds, it's just not a good idea right now for me to use the 308 since it's having some accuracy issues. Alright, it should be like five over here. One, two, three, four. Okay, well there's four actually because we shot one. But at least the rest of them are here finally. And I think we're gonna leave one of them alive just so the zone doesn't disappear. Because I notice that the zone disappears if I shoot all of them. And then it takes a couple runs for it to come back, which I don't necessarily want to have to wait a couple runs to get it back. Okay, he's actually moving on his own. What's the best way to upgrade handgun score without the 22 handgun? Um, let me think. Probably, I mean, I'd say just use any handgun on some birds on Rev on Thule. That's probably gonna be one of the easiest ways since the birds are so plentiful. Gosh, these guys are not giving me a good shot. Lots of fours showing up as well. We're probably gonna have to try and get those to change into something better eventually. Is that a cave next to the red deer? It is. There's a cave right down there. Nice Dawson, that's awesome man. Congrats on your 270. Absolute tank. True, Levi, true. Wolves would definitely be a good way to get handgun score. That is true.
Kyla coming in with the 17 months. Holy. Thank you. Really appreciate that. 17 months. That is crazy. 17 months as a member. Absolutely insane. Just like this floater. Absolutely insane. Anybody got the stopwatch out? I don't even know, bottom boy. We're gonna need it at this point. We gotta be timing these. See how quickly I can get them down. Because last night I was able to do 20 in 10 minutes with like the perfect run. Obviously not every run's gonna be 20 in 10 minutes, but... We can definitely make it happen if we get the... Proper, I guess, layouts of our respawns. If they come back to the right areas, we can definitely do it. Oh yeah, that's a good idea, Mountain Rocker. I didn't think about Bison, because I forgot, you guys get the 454 for free now. Uh, nothing yet, Mason. There is a level 9, though, that we're going to take out soon. Oh, we're playing Tiaboroa, August. And I'm glad that you enjoy the content. Big seven. And a four. So it's just the big seven we'll take down. A uh, 20 normal reds, Maverick, not diamonds. Ah, uh, the crossbow's okay. Not really my favorite thing to use, but that's just mainly because I'm a grinder. And crossbows aren't exactly a good grinding weapon. Thirty-nine pelicans, my gosh. That's a lot of pelicans. I don't think I've seen even one pelican. But then again, Oregon doesn't really have a lot of pelicans. What's the best way to earn cash? Definitely red deer. Tiawaroa's red deer are absolutely absurd for cash. Like some next level money making when it comes to the red deer. Did we get a bad shot on him? We did. Wow. Oh, probably vertebrae. Looks like a vertebrae hit. Oh, got you revive. Okay. I missed the Great One Pelican? I probably did. That, that sounds like something I would do. Ah, uh, this guy's gonna be too far. Or is he right there? He's right there. Never mind. Just got my second diamond red deer. Nice, Gavin. That's awesome. That is super awesome, dude. I've done that many times, Aviator. Done quite a bit of it in the past. Base cam's just not my thing. Oh, really, Levi? Yeah, it's definitely not good. Don't want them spawning there. Hey, Hollow Crow, how's it going? Hopefully you're doing well. Uh, August, thank you so much for the super sticker. Much appreciated. Thank you so much for the support. Uh, nothing yet, Brett. We do have a level 9 that we're about to take out, though. Very, very shortly. Do I have a setup video for the Red Deer grind? Not yet, but I will soon. Just haven't got a chance to record it.
Yeah, me too, Johnny. I really wish they would make the 300 cover class 6. Don't understand why it can't. Definitely seems like it would fit for that class range. Let's see how many are going to be here this time. We had three sevens last round. That's a big seven there. All right, I think we got them all. Got at least two of them. Oh yeah, no worries, Hollow. Anytime. Just let me know. Uh, just let me know like when you'll be on. I guess. Maybe we can line up a time I can jump on and chat. I would not doubt it, Mason. Uh, with the amount of water stags we've had, I would not doubt it. Yeah, me too, Johnny. I hope it is. Oh, yeah. Same, bottom boy. Same. Um, a guy that I went hunting with a couple times, he used a 300 for them. He used a 300 for uh, blacktail deer. And I mean, blacktail are even smaller. Did I forget to grab it? I did. Well, we're definitely not going to get 20 in 10 minutes if I keep passing them. You know, it's kind of important to actually pick them up. <laughs> Hey, Caitlin, how's it going? What's my favorite gun? I really like the 308, but unfortunately it's got some accuracy issues at the moment. But I love the 308. I love the 6.5. Both of those are very nice. Yeah, definitely, Johnny. Definitely. Riptide, thank you for the super chat, dude. And Laura, thank you for the super chat as well. What's up, Crow? Happy Thursday. This is the last stream I'll be able to watch for a few days. Got a charity uh, golf tournament tomorrow. Doing my deer survey internship the rest of the week. Nice, dude. Good luck with all that. Hopefully it all goes well. And thank you for the uh, super chat. And Laura, thank you so much as well. Keep up the videos. Thank you. Really appreciate it. Unfortunately, I don't have a full video scheduled for today. Um, I didn't get around to getting everything done yesterday since it was past 90 degrees once again and just incredibly hot. But I do have a couple YouTube shorts ready for the day, so there still will be content. Just uh, the next video will probably be tomorrow. When did I get the uh, last Red Deer Great one? Uh, the last Red Deer Great one was a little over a week ago, probably like a week and a half. And since that, I have killed roughly 3,500 stags. So we've killed quite a few since the last Great one. Oh, me too, Kyla. This heat is just terrible. I cannot stand the super hot days. Absolutely drives me crazy. Definitely, Kyle. I think fall's the best, honestly. Fall time, there's just something about it. Hey, Gaming Monkey, you haven't missed too much yet, dude. You have not missed much at all. Gotta do our uh, every other run check at this location. Make sure nothing's appeared here. 
Cannon, thank you so much for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. Hi. <laughs> How's it going, Cannon? How's it going, man? Hopefully you've been doing great. <laughs> yes, Levi. <laughs> exactly. You knew exactly what I meant. Uh, we actually should be able to see these. Yeah, definitely want to take these down first. Alright, that's three down. I definitely need to get a tent over there. Jeez, so many stags over on this side too, this uh, this go around. Uh, to be honest, I really want to see a blacktail great one, uh, Tump. I don't know though. I'd also like to see a fallow deer, I'd like to see muleys. I guess there's a lot of great ones I'd like to see. That hopefully one of these days we'll end up getting. Yeah, it's kind of looking like it, Johnny. Although I think they'll go back to an antlered great one. Oh no, JGS, that's unfortunate, dude. It happens to the best of us, though. I've lost a few trophies to uh, disconnecting from a server. There was also one time where I spotted a level 5 feral goat, and then I kept getting kicked from the server, so I never got it. Oh, it's very unfortunate. Well, there's four red deer in like one minute. <laughs> we keep that up, we'll be uh, getting these things real good. There's our diamond. All right, so um, I probably should have shot those before running over. Oh, well, we'll just take down the mythical and the legendary. We'll at least get those two down. Another mythical. Uh, Cannon, thank you for the... Wait, did I already... I already read that one. Streamlabs is being weird again. I already read off that one. Gotta love Streamlabs. Alright, let's see. Ooh, was that two heart shots? That's a big mythical too. So there was three big mythicals and a legendary in that group. That's kind of crazy. Nice, Jenners. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, the 270 is not too bad. It's good on class 4 animals like fallow deer, white tailed deer, stuff like that. Yep, I can't stand that either, Nash. And honestly, I think a lot of it is they just don't know how to make a server private. I feel like that is the big reason why that happens. I feel like it's definitely just people that don't know how to make a private server. What about the 303? It's good. Uh, 303 is probably a top three rifle for me. I'd say my list of uh, favorite rifles goes 308, 6.5, and then 303. Definitely my uh, top three favorites. All right, let's see if we can fast travel over here without spooking them and then take down that last mythical. We shall see. Yeah, honestly, I feel like Fallower Moose will be the next great one. Probably will. Let's see. Did they spook? No. Okay. Well, they did, but they've calmed down, it looks like. That guy didn't actually spook. Um, why is he traveling though? Okay, that actually worked out pretty good. So now we got four stags down over here. Can I click on the tent, please? There we go. Nice, Call the Wild the Hunter. Congrats on that dude. 
Amazing. Let's see. How big is this diamond? 266. Not bad. Not bad. Um, I think, I think that one's probably tax worthy. Yeah, we'll tax that one. That one's good enough. Now we got like, what, two more to grab? And then I need to figure out where I can drop another tent. We need to remove a tent from somewhere though. The thing is, I just don't know. I don't know where. Yeah, JN, of course. <laughs> Gotta love it, dude. Gotta love it. Lots of mythicals, too. We downed a bunch of mythicals that run. It's something like that, bottom boy. Definitely seems like it. Alright, it's 9.17. We got a little bit of time. We'll head back over here, check to see if the respawns have made it back. They probably haven't, but I guess we'll see. How many great ones do I have? Two red deer and four white tail. Ooh, look at that. Another diamond. All right, beautiful. Love to see it. Uh, no, Rylan, I don't. I live in Oregon. That is a pretty decent looking legendary, but I do think it is the smaller version of that rack. Oh no, I forgot that I have to chamber around whenever I do that fast switch. The one downside to fast switching, you do have to rechamber around once you switch back to it. That one does not want to die. What about this guy? Uh, I don't know if it's going to be worth chasing those. They're kind of uh, not going to die. So that's unfortunate. It is what it is, though. Yeah, Oregon is beautiful, man. Love it here. Honestly, the scenery in Oregon is the biggest reason why I stay here. Wow, nine... Uh, Eno, that's wild, dude. Nine hours? 2.53. Alright, well, moving on. That one's not good enough to keep. Uh, let me write down those two diamonds on our diamond count. 138. And that was our 180th diamond red deer of all time. That's pretty crazy. That is pretty crazy. Okay, those two definitely did not die, so not gonna worry about them. Or they didn't die very fast. It does feel so wrong, Johnny, but at this point, I can't keep taxing every diamond. With the way that the Red Deer grind is, like literally in the last week, guys, I have got 138 diamond Red Deer from this grinding tactic. 3,500 stags. With a total of 138 diamonds, like, I can't keep taxing the smaller diamonds because my lodges just will not be able to hold them all. And if I'm not going to display it in my lodge, it's just a waste of money. Herd management somewhat smart. Try some herd management. It is uh, kind of insane how good it is. I can almost guarantee that you'll have some good luck with it if you try it. I've already done that, Johnny. I've already got an all-diamond red deer lodge. Out of those, like, 138 diamonds, I taxed 100 of them. So, um, or roughly 100. So I do have an entire lodge of them now. We'll have to check it out during the stream. Up he turned. Ah, uh, yeah, I'd go for it, Sykes. 
In my experience, stacking them doesn't really change much, so I would honestly recommend just shooting the nines as you find them. Because the other day I stacked, um, I stacked 13, I believe, 13 diamonds, and only got two diamond respawns out of shooting all of them at once, so I really don't think stacking does much. It seems like it doesn't really affect much. Yeah, it seems about right, somewhat smart. I would maybe leave um, even some of the, the small level two uh, white tail, like the fence racks. I think leaving the fence racks would probably be good. A mythical and a six. And a five. We'll just blast them all. <laughs> that was such a dramatic death. Reed, thank you so much for the super chat, dude. Just spotted my great one, 269 to 277 estimate. That is awesome, man. Congratulations on that. That is super awesome, dude. Nice, Levi. Thank you for the super chat once again, Reed. Thank you so, so much. And we got a few to blast here. We need to try and swap out some of these again. It would be nice if I could swap out some more of these hinds for some more stags. That would be really nice. Ah, uh, he'll go down, I think, but... Gosh, that's definitely not what we wanted. He's running quite a ways away. Two twenty-seven mythical though, not bad. Oh, it'll come back eventually, Anno. It'll come back eventually. I have found that with the red deer grind, at least the way that I'm doing it, they move a lot. How do you swap out? So the way that you swap trophies out, or I guess the way that you would swap animals out in your herds is, this is like the only time where not claiming them is pretty much a necessity. I always recommend claiming everything that you shoot unless you are trying to get them to swap. And basically the way you get them to swap is find a herd that you want more stags in. Like let's say this herd that I just uh, shot a few out of. Let's say you wanted to get some more stags in it. What I would do is I would shoot like three or four of the hinds, three or four of the female red deer. Do not claim them. Go to a zone you don't like shoot four stags out of it and then go to the main menu enter back in and there's like a 50 50 chance that some of them will switch places and you'll have more stags in the herd you can do the exact same thing by claiming them all it's just more guaranteed that they'll swap if you just quickly go to the main menu after downing all of them but that's the only time i recommend doing that because uh, normally i feel like it's better to just claim everything but in that situation it seems like it gives you a better chance of them swapping places. Nice mythical there. Mythical two sixes, a four. Okay, we got three we can take down. Uh, we might be able to hit one more zone before the time hits ten. Nice, Archie. Nice. All right, later, CJO. Thanks for watching, dude. Always good to see you in here. How did I hit the hind? What? How did I hit her? Well then, that was unfortunate. We somehow hit the female. As sometimes I feel like the bullets, or not the bullets, but sometimes I feel like the animals just have a larger hitbox than we think. 
You did, Johnny? Uh, not if you're trying to get them to switch places, Eno. If you're trying to get them to switch places, I don't recommend claiming them. However, if you're just shooting them like normal for your grind, then always claim them, because it seems like they get back to their zones quicker that way. And also, you get tons of money. Alright, let's go ahead and switch the time and then hit the main menu up. In fact, I can show you guys some uh, zone swapping real quick if you'd like. Kind of show you how it's done. All right, later, bottom boy. Thanks for dropping in, man. It's uh, good to see you. Two males spawn from one female. I don't think they probably spawned from one female. Most likely, you shot them in a different area and they just moved. Uh, not anymore, Southern Steel. They changed it. They changed it to 630. So it's actually really, really good now. All right, so we are going to go ahead and... Try to swap some Heinz with the Stags. It should work with everything, Tump. It should work with everything. That's a pretty big mythical. Alright, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and shoot a few of these females. Just uh, absolutely obliterate these things. That one's not dying. There we go. So how many are down? Let's see. We got one, two, three. Where's the fourth? Well, we've got at least three. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave those. Uh, we're going to go to this zone. And we're going to see if we can get some of these stags over here to swap. Because I don't want to have to go over to this zone anymore. As it is quite a ways out of the way of where I normally would hunt. That's a big mythical. Yeah, it's definitely a good one to try and get to swap. Uh, Diffusion, thank you so much for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. Uh, Cannon, thank you for the super chat as well, man. Trying to buy merch, but for some reason it's not working. Is that a problem on my end? I think I took the merch store down because I need to update stuff on it. If I'm not mistaken, I believe I took it down so that I could update it. Because a lot of the uh, designs are outdated. Uh, it'll be back up at some point, but I don't exactly know when. All right, so that's one down. We need to kill probably three or four more. I always like to kill slightly more stags than I did for the hinds. That way I've got a better chance of them swapping. Uh, don't want to... Let's try... Maybe there's something here. What lake am I at? We're currently at uh, this one right here. Rotanui. Oh, that's right. I swapped with this zone already, I think. Yeah, definitely did. Okay, so that's a zone I already swapped with. I forgot that I used that one. So there's not a swappable stag in there. All these are small. Don't want to swap out these level fours. Uh, I think this river zone has one that we can swap out with. Uh, yes, Crusaderman, shoot the fives. Nice, Eno. Grinding for the great one, I got four diamonds, one rare, last five days, got ten diamonds in them days. Nice, that's awesome, Porter. That is awesome. Congratulations. Alright, so we know for a fact there's a couple sixes in this herd. They've been here for like three days at this point. We could take these out if there's nothing else. I would kind of like to get these into a different area, so... 
Those might be the ones we take out unless there's something on the close shore. Because I do usually have some on the close shore as well. And if they're here, then I'd like to take... Oh, yes, there we go. There's a seven. Definitely need to try and get him to swap. As this is not the most ideal place to have to check. Looks like it's just him, though. So we will have to take out those sixes, I think. There we go. Alright, let's try to find, like, one more stag just to ensure that they swap. Yeah, Archie, I would definitely recommend taking down the fives as well. And also, you're probably going to have to start moving locations. Um, the further I got in the grind, the more I had to abandon locations I normally would hunt. Like, I don't hunt Pukimaro anymore. I barely hunt either of the Rotanui Lakes. And I try not to hunt this zone unless I'm trying to swap. Um, uh, maybe, Dubs. I imagine you probably could. But it's difficult to get those fours to go to threes, to be honest. Almost every time I accidentally shoot a four, it comes back as like a six. So I don't know if it's as easy to do that. But if you could consistently get them to drop to threes, then that would be a good way, probably. Okay, we might have to swap out this five. I think we're gonna have to take the five. Let's see if there's anything else over here. Now, I know we got some stags over here, but I think they're all small. Yeah, it looks like they're all small for the most part. Should be the same over here as well. Should be primarily small males. I do think we have a six somewhere over here, though. I'm pretty sure there's a six over here. How do you make all of your money? Exactly what we're doing right now, Brayden. Hunting red deer. Red deer are absurd money makers on Tiawaroa. Mainly because they're so plentiful and they give like 12 to 1400 cash each. They are uh, quite crazy with the money. Okay, nothing we can shoot here actually. So, I think it's time to attempt to get them to swap. Let's see, can we get them to swap? Uh, you don't shoot the threes or the fours, just the fives. Just level five and above. Oh, gotcha, Archie. Yeah, take out those fives. I found that just leaving the fours and threes is enough, and eventually some of those, uh, when you start including the fives, you'll start getting more of them to show up as fours. Which, uh, in the end, that's going to benefit you. Because then the other ones will start coming back progressively larger. I didn't stop Samuel, I just stopped streaming it because I don't enjoy the bears. And obviously if I don't enjoy hunting the bear, it's not going to be an enjoyable stream, so I do the bear grinding off camera. And then I do the red deer on camera because I enjoy red deer. Alright, let's see. We definitely got something to move around, I think. Possibly. One, two, three, maybe, did we? We have four shooters here. Didn't we have three last time, guys? We had three last time, right? I I think we only had three last time. There's now four that we can shoot here. So, it looks like... Yeah, one of them definitely did come back to this zone. We definitely got one of them to swap. We definitely got one to swap. Definitely did. Um, we might shoot one more hind. Let's shoot a couple more of these hinds and try to get more to swap. Make 
Make sure we're not going to delete the zone, though. Let's attempt to get at least one more to swap. Uh, where could we go to get one of these stags? Um... Maybe over here, actually. I might want to take one of these ones. Because there's all those stags on the one side of the lake that's not very convenient to grab. So maybe if we shoot those, we can get them to swap. Ah, uh, that's really strange, Xander. I don't know why that would be. Definitely not a normal bug. Oof. Oh. Okay, if we can get these to swap, that'll be incredible. Definitely gotta try to get those to swap. Yeah, let's take out all those eights over there. Those would be some amazing ones to get into that other zone. That would be absolutely incredible. Look at those big males. That's seven as well. I feel like some new ones are here. We didn't have that many stags on this side. How do you swap? Well, the way that you swap a uh, captain is shoot like three or four females. Shoot like three or four female uh, red deer. Do not claim them. Go to another zone that you don't like hunting. Shoot three or four males. Do not claim them either. Go to the main menu, load back in, and there is like a 50% chance that they will have swapped. Which is what we're doing right now. We're trying to get them to swap. This is the only scenario where I don't recommend claiming. However, if you're doing like your normal grind, obviously claim all of them because it gets your respawns much quicker. And also you gain a ton of cash. But for this method where you're trying to swap them, this is literally the only scenario where I don't recommend claiming. Cannon, thank you for the super chat. Once again, dude. My gosh, so much support over the last week. I, I honestly can't even count the amount of super chats you've sent through. <laughs> I really appreciate it, man. That's super kind of you. Super, super kind. All right, let's try to get another one of these hinds. Can I get its attention, maybe? There we go. That moment you accidentally take your scope off. Okay, let's try it again. Let's see. Can we get them to swap? Can we get them to swap? We shot three hinds. Now, before we had four shooters in this zone. Can we get this? Can we get a fifth one? One. Two, three, four. I see four so far. I don't know if it worked that time. That one I don't think worked. In that case, let's just continue our normal run and we'll see if we can get them back. Honestly, they could have gone to one of the areas that we shot up here as well, but it doesn't look like they swapped that time, sadly. First one, we got one of them. Yes, we definitely have a bit of a red deer problem. Unless one of them came back as like a three or a four, that's also possible. I think one of them came back as a four, actually. Yeah, we still have four shooters, though. Hey, Mason, how's it going, man? Welcome back. Welcome back, my dude. Nice, Johnny. Let me know if you get any results from it. Let me know if you get any of them to swap. No, we messed up that shot. Nailed that one, though. Nice, Aviator. Nice. Sir, how are none of those vitals? How were none of those vitals? I gotta know. Call the wild, what's going on?
<laughs> Died right in the water. Oh, man. Gotta love it. How many diamonds? Two on the day, Hunter. Two on the day. But we've kind of been doing a bit of zone swapping, so... Haven't shot as many as we normally would by now. Oh, don't float. Yeah, that's a seven there. Yep, floater alert indeed. Nice, Wild Atlantic. That's awesome, man. Congratulations. Nice, Aviator. That's an impressive shot, dude. Nice, Skilled. Favorite spot for Red Deer? Probably this one right here. This area is pretty insane. Who's the guy that shoots all the mountain lions? Well, that would be Johnny. That would be my brother Johnny. It is Gage. It is in water. Uh, we already got that, Ryan. If you didn't, if you didn't see it, it's the emote that is uh, put in chat a few times right above you. That is a red deer in water. In case you didn't know. Where did this red deer go? Did we not vitally hit it? Did we somehow not hit vitals? Oh, we're zeroed for 300. That explains it. Oh, no, it's dead. There it is. Nice, Myro. That's awesome. Uh, yes, Goofy. Dark Gemsbok is a rare. It didn't used to be, but recently they changed it. Um, to be honest, I don't know 100% Gavin because... Oh, there's a legendary. Because I haven't done it for Whitetail recently. It's been about two years since I did it with Whitetail. But I would say leave all the fence racks and leave all the level ones. Jeez, we got a bunch of big males here. Honestly, I think some of them came to this zone. I definitely think a few came over to this zone instead. Which, honestly, I'm okay with that. I like this zone a lot. So the more stags we can get here, the better. Casually, oh, there's a legendary. I know, right? Uh, at this point, I'm only going to get excited if it looks like it could break 270 or if it's a diamond rare. Or a great one. That would get me excited, too. Uh, definitely T. Abaroa, James. Uh, Hirschfelden is not the best for Red Deer. Sadly, it's kind of a tough grind on Hirsch. T. Abaroa, though, it's a complete cakewalk when it comes to, uh, Red Deer. Did we even get that level 9? Might have missed Vitals. Oh, yes, we definitely did. Well, we'll get him later then. Not going to worry about that if he's just barely hit. Uh, we'll add that to the troll count, though. Because it definitely trolled. Level 6 there. Gosh, I can't hit a good shot for the life of me. There. Just had to get him to stop moving. I got you, Levi. I'm uh, sending over the, the mythical albino luck for you. I got you. <laughs> hey, Nevea, you have only missed uh, two diamonds.
It definitely is, Mason. Hirsch is a very challenging map. That does not seem normal, PNG. That's very strange that it would do that. Very, very strange. I don't know why that would be happening. I actually have not had that happen to myself ever, I don't believe. So I don't really know how you could fix that, to be honest. Currently waiting for floaters. Gotta love it, Flanky. Gotta love it, man. Those floaters, they're, they're the worst. Mmm, cold coffee. Amazing. Uh, yes, Ryan, they are. Dark Gemsbok are rare. They were made rare with the Mississippi update, if I'm not mistaken. Alright, nothing there, thankfully. I don't like having to hunt that zone since I have to walk all the way. I got you, Coco. I got you. Sending over the, uh, Red Deer... Or the the caribou rare luck. I got you. Okay, so this is a four now. Uh, that one has turned to a four. Honestly, that's good. It means I don't have to hunt that zone anymore. The more zones we can get to turn into fours, the better, honestly. Where's the cold coffee emote? We don't have it yet, but at some point, hopefully, we'll have a cold. Ooh, hi. Yeah, that's not a pie ball. For a second, I thought this guy in the back might have been a pie ball, but it's not. That is a legendary, though. Number three on the day. Let's see. I don't believe that's the big one. I think that is the smaller rack. If I'm not mistaken, at least. How were none of those vitals, also? Well, the level 9 died, at least. Definitely 255 plus. Ah, to be honest, I don't think so. I think that one's probably gonna be like 253. It seems like one of the smaller ones to me. Oh, the other day, guys, um, I actually got a 259 scoring big rack. By far one of the lowest scoring big racks I've seen. Tax that thing immediately, because that's not a common occurrence to get a 259 scoring big rack. It was honestly kind of weird to see. Yeah, Johnny, seems like you have the same luck that I do with Red Deer. I still don't have my super rare Red Deer after like 10,000 kills almost. Oh wait, this is big rack. Hold on. I thought this was small rack. I think this actually is big. Yeah, this is big rack. Okay, so this one actually could be... Uh, what's that width looking like? Uh, 265. 265? Uh, this one's not quite tax worthy though, unfortunately. Not quite tax worthy. I'm trying to save taxing for like the 267 plus mark. Or just really special red deer. We'll get a couple screenshots though. Take a look at it. There it is. There's that beauty. And yes, Caitlin, it, it never feels right not taxing a diamond. But I gotta get used to doing that or I'm gonna break the bank with this red deer grind. Alright, let's go ahead and update our diamond count. So that is... Diamond 181 out of 9,900 kills, approximately. Oh, definitely, uh, ZCBB. I will definitely play the angler. Definitely will be playing the angler. Oh, four. There's a seven, a six, a four, and a six. That guy's in a terrible spot, but we can get a couple of these at least. <laughs> that death animation was beautiful. Oh my gosh. 
Oh, missed that guy. Alright, that was just my bad aim. Yeah, definitely, Caitlin. Definitely. It is definitely hard not to tax the wonky ones, though. I have taxed a few of those. Um, I got a level 7 yesterday. It was pretty special looking. And I just had to tax it. Uh-oh, that was a spine shot, I think. No! Why I got a spine shot the mythical? There we go. At least he didn't run too far before he stopped. What are all the lakes I have red deer at? Um, I will show you. I have them at all of these areas over here, including this one. All these lakes here. This spot. This spot right here. This spot. Uh, all four of these lakes. I don't hunt all of those locations, though. Some of them, I've got them to a point where I don't need to hunt them. Should probably shoot these before I walk too far away from the stand. Because I made that mistake last time. <laughs> we got a little level two there. That is just adorable. Oh, me too, Levi. The 300's a lifesaver for grinding. Saves so much tracking time. Should be three stags down. Possibly two. There's one where I don't know if we got a good vital hit or not. Oof, we definitely didn't. And that was definitely a miss there. I am just not hitting with the long range M1 shots today. Finally. Jeez. My aim with the M1 is not great today. Wait, which tip, Eno? What is the hardest animal to kill slash find in Call of the Wild? Like, uh, uh, in general, or? Are you talking like rare fur type for like a specific species or what? If we're talking just like overall, I'd say any like diamond rare for something like a fox? Or like one of those species that are difficult to find the rares for? Oh, the tip of the 300, gotcha, Anno. Yeah, it's very nice. You don't get full score on the, the stuff you shoot with it, but it saves so much time that I feel it's worth it. Ah, uh, we're gonna stick with the new stuff, Aaron. You gotta move on eventually, you know. The, if you didn't know, the old intro mu music still is there. It's still there. It's in the Silver Ridge Peaks intro. I have different music for different intros now. It's uh, been like that for quite a while, actually. Oh, definitely, Leah. I do love this grind. Red Deer grinding is probably the most enjoyable grind for me. Whitetail can be pretty enjoyable as well, but there's just something about Red Deer that I absolutely love. Black Bear are definitely my least favorite grind. Those things are so difficult. Nice, Wild. Uh, most days, Richard. The only days I don't stream are Saturday and Wednesday. I stream every other day, though. All days of the week except Saturday and Wednesday. Did we only get one of them vitally? I think we only hit one vitally. 
Well, if that's the case, that's quite unfortunate. Yeah, we messed up two of those shots. Oh, this guy's about to die, though. This guy's definitely close enough to chase after. Uh, Huncho Dawes, thank you so much for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Thank you so, so much. And DJ Dry, thank you for the membership. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Eight months as a member. Insane, dude. Insane. All right, no worries, Wild. Nice Saints, that's awesome, man. Yeah, Richard, that's why I didn't stream yesterday. I take a couple days off every week, but other than that, we try to stream as often as possible. Ooh, there we go, another Legendary. That one is a big wreck with a 259 minimum estimate. Pretty crazy. That is a big mail. Nice, Flanky. That's a big one there. That is a good looking stag. Come on, buddy, walk out where we can shoot you. Should be a vital hit. What direction did he even run off in? Ooh, we didn't get it. I bet we went in between the lungs. I can almost guarantee we went in between the lungs. Because that happened to us recently. I can pretty much guarantee we went in between the lungs on that shot. Hey, Snowy, how's it going? You got a great one, Red Deer, and a super rare Mela? Dude, I want both of those. I want a, a Melanistic super rare. That's like my most wanted Red Deer trophy of all time. That's crazy. Congratulations. That is absolutely wild to find. You know, it's actually possible we did kill him and the hunting pressures just disappeared because I shot three others next to it. That's a possibility, I guess, because we did blast a bunch after the nine. Oh, no, there he is. 283 away. Gosh, he's in a terrible spot. Come on. Turn for us, buddy. What is he doing? Gosh, I can't even spot him. There he is. I think I pulled high at the last second. Yeah, definitely did. Definitely pulled high, so let's just finish him off. Oh well. Not too big of a deal. It's not a super rare or anything, so... It's not that big of a deal. I don't think it was very big either. That one looked like it wouldn't even break 267 probably. Nah, Blue Lee, I don't reset. I don't reset to try and get a second chance. That's just not me. Best trophy is my albino diamond planes bison. That's pretty good, Cage. That's pretty good. Could be a 270 though. Eh. I don't really care. I've got three or four 270s now. It is what it is if it is a 270. Not gonna stress about it too much. 
Like I've said, with this grind, considering we're getting a diamond every like 30 kills, I'm not too concerned if we mess up a few. The only thing I'm really aiming for at the moment is great ones and super rares. And just big rares in general. The diamonds are kind of just like a cool thing along the way to keep the grind interesting. Where did we hit him? Looks like it was up here. How to get super rares? Just random chance, Luke. A super rare is a diamond with a rare fur type. Probably the rarest things in the entire game. Should be up here somewhere. There he is. Uh, Huncho, thank you so much for the super chat once again. Just got a level 7 albino red deer while watching you. Nice, that's awesome. The level 7 albinos look good. Yeah, this guy's just a 266. And I knew it! We went in between the lungs again. And then that shot was high as I expected. First shot though. Come on, Call of the Wild. Really? Really? How is this still a thing? I, I don't get it. How is that still a thing? All right, let me add that to the diamond count because that is technically a diamond. We just messed it up. True, a moose on Tiaboro is definitely one of the rarest things. Look at all these big males. We got a bunch of stags here this time. True, ducks, and a great one whitetail with a rare fur type is probably the rarest. But I'm talking like, um, just in general, non-great one related, a super rare is the rarest. Messed up the shot there. How can you get moose on Tiawaroa? Nobody knows. It just seems to randomly show up for like 0.00001% of people. I've only seen like two or three ever shot on Tiawaroa that weren't the mission animal. Quite strange how they just randomly show up for some. One of them is going to get to live. Oh no, Leah, that's not good. Uh, looks like one of the herds is not here. Might need to do a game reset then. Or not a game reset, but go to the menu. Law Dog, thank you so much for becoming a member. Really appreciate it. Enjoy the green name and chat, special badge icon, all the awesome emails, ability to use commands, access to private Discord channels, once you link Discord to YouTube, and access to my scrap content on the channel. Much appreciated, man. Welcome. I don't think it's intended, Lewis. Um, well, it's really hard to say. Occasionally, people will see a moose pop up on Tiawaroa that isn't the mission animal. Nobody knows if it's a bug or if it's intended, but... Just randomly, one will show up for some reason. Nobody quite knows why. Nice, Coco. That's awesome. That is awesome, man. Nice, I know. Best way to get great one whitetail? Shoot lots of males. That's really all there is to it with great ones. Because they are just a random spawn chance whenever you shoot a male. Got a 285 red deer? That's crazy. 285 is a monster. I'm assuming you're talking great one red deer. Okay, we got two shooters here. We definitely need to uh, go to the main menu though. 
Noticing there's definitely some that aren't arrived at their zones. Nice, Blake. That's pretty lucky. That is very lucky. A six, a six, a five, and a four. How did that not hit Nick? We're missing the neck shots like crazy today and I don't know why. Missed in some of the easiest neck shots of my life today. What's my favorite trophy? Melanistic Pheasant. Oh gosh, I know 0 0.05. That is that is crushing. I don't know what I'd do getting trolled like that. No, oh, stop placing waypoints. Jeez, I know that's wild. They're a tough diamond to get. They troll very often. I once had a 21 troll streak with the feral goats. They, uh, they're pretty rude. The most rude thing in the game. Uh, not sure, Huncho. Are you on iPhone by any chance? Because the join button isn't available on iOS. I believe it has something to do with uh, Apple not wanting third-party, like, payment methods. How many getting a diamond every 30 stags? With herd management, uh, Caro, you only shoot the fives and above. Don't shoot anything below level five. And eventually, after a few hundred kills, your herds will start to get cultivated into something impressive. Honestly, Ryan, what I would do with skill points is I would look at all the skills, what they do, and then see what you want to work towards. Because what everybody wants to use with their skills is going to differ from person to person. But I would recommend just going through all the skills, reading what they do, and then deciding what you want to work towards. How many nines today? I believe four. Uh, we've had three diamonds and one troll. What's the best gun for Red Deer? Um, if you want to get full score on them, probably 303, 308, or M1. Those are some of the best. Though the 303 has a, or the 308 has a little bit of an accuracy issue at the moment. But, uh, once they fix that, 308's definitely the best. Oh, that's right. This herd has a four in it now. So we don't have to worry about that one. Honestly, I might end up moving my tent because of that. 500 nines? That's eh, something like that. Definitely feels like it. <laughs> Two sixes over there. Two eighty five. Oh, nice fishing. Because they fixed it, Aaron. That was a bug, and they fixed it. We weren't supposed to be able to see the fur type without disturbed veg, so they ended up patching that out.
What great one do you think they should add next? Personally, I think a new fabled Cape Buffalo. That would be cool, Ryan. That would be cool. I definitely think it's one that they should do eventually, but they wanted to do base game maps first. So I'm guessing Fallow or Moose will be the next one. As much as I would love to see a Cape Buffalo great one. Mythical, seven, and a six. Rip hit too far forward on him. My aim is not on par today, which is unfortunate. Uh, which rack? Are you talking about that, uh, mythical? What a giant. That level two is the biggest one here, I think. Absolute tank. Where's all the stags on this side? Looks like they're just not here. Interesting. Oh, the troll nine rack, gotcha. What fur type do I want on my great one black bear? Definitely spirit. Spirit or chestnut would be cool. And then number three would probably be the fabled cream. Best map to grind, Whitetail, Revon Tuli, and Rancho seem like the best. What about Glacier? To be honest, I don't like it as much anymore, Bluely. I have seen so many people get it that I've had a pretty good look at it and... Eh, I don't know. I'm not a big fan of the Glacier anymore. I still think Spirit, Chestnut, and Cream are probably the top three for me. The other ones just don't have as much of a wow factor to me. Welcome back, Kyla. Where did that mythical go? Ah, we didn't get it vitally, I don't think. No. Wait, maybe we did? Okay, we did. For a second, I thought we missed the vitals. That would have been unfortunate. All right, let's change the time. Multi mouse with European rabbits? Sadly, no. There is none. As far as I am aware of, at least. Yeah, that's kind of my problem with that one is too, uh, Bluely. Wait, that's not even an English sentence. What am I doing? All right, so nothing crazy over there. There's our respawn from the diamond. Nice read. That's awesome. Congrats, dude. And thank you for the super chat once again. Thank you so much. Can I spot this? Uh, it doesn't look like anything crazy. Let's just boop. Another one. I did not see him at first. We actually did manage to get him though. Dude, I don't want to place waypoint on the tent. Best map for starters? Probably Revon Tuli Coast. Revon Tuli is very good for starters.
Best map to grind moose on? Probably Revon Tuli or Medved. Would like to see a great one, Caribou. That could be interesting. Uh, just a timeout, typically, Richard. And then if somebody is continuously breaking the rules, then they get banned. But most of the time, it's just a timeout at first. Uh, yeah, Blue Lee, that was Aaliyah. Let's see. What do we got on this run? What days will I be streaming? Every day except Wednesday and Saturday. Those are the only two days that I don't stream. Alright, no respawns there yet since we just shot them. Yeah, definitely Crusader. They're both very, very good options. Couple thick males over there. Nice, Will. Ah, we can probably get that guy to turn. There we go, he turned finally. Imagine between the lungs. <laughs> I think it was. I think it literally was between the lungs. Oh no, we hit something. I think we hit the vertebrae. Well, that's unfortunate. Gonna have to track him, which I was really hoping I wouldn't have to. Yes, go down there, please. Yes. <laughs> that was amazing. That was amazing. Yeah, they definitely do H2O. They troll quite terribly. Mythical, level seven. Is it just me or did one of our herds leave? I think one of our herds left this area. I think we had a herd move on us. Which is pretty common, honestly. I've had that happen a lot during this grind, but... It's always shocking to just see a herd missing from one of your zones without actually having deleted that zone. But we definitely had a herd move. Either that or they're just super late to their zone since we just switched the time, which is possible. Either way, it's weird. Really strange seeing some of them missing. What's the best diamonds I've got? I couldn't even begin to think of like which ones are the best. Cause like, best is gonna be different to everybody. Everybody's gonna have a different, different definition of what they would consider to be the best. So there's really no way for me to say, like, what is the best of the best. Uh, Diamond 7s are not a thing, Leah. Diamond 7s do not exist. If you found a Diamond 7, that was definitely a hacked trophy. Because they can't make Diamond at 7. No, double floater, why? Always with the floaters, man. Can we get them? We might be able to get this one. Come on. Get out of the water so we can move quicker. No. No, no, no. Let me grab him. Please be in a grabbable location. No. Uh, okay, we'll get him later.
Nice, take me outdoors. That's pretty awesome. Searching for one of those myself, unfortunately, haven't uh, been lucky. Sadly, have not been able to find one. I'm hoping one of these days I'll be talking about how we haven't find it, haven't found it, and then we'll just uh, find it right then. That'd be amazing. But uh, not so lucky. There we go. Finally hit the next shot. That's what we like to see. I'm not sure, Ryan. I typically do a trophy lodge tour every six months or so. And that day is today? I hope so. That would be nice. Yeah, then it's definitely not a legit one, uh, Leah. If you had a, a level 7 diamond in a sketchy server, definitely not a real diamond. Definitely a hacked one. Uh, yeah, Log. They will respawn still, but it honestly... It honestly isn't the best way to do it because they, for some reason, take longer to respawn, I've noticed. I haven't done it too often, but the times that I have, they always come back very slow. Like, they're not at their zones on time. And considering I value speed over everything else in a grind, for me, that's just not a, a viable tactic for leaving them. Because that, like, extra couple minutes it takes them to get back to their zones when you do it that way, it just, it kills the grind if you're going for speed. To do a live lodge tour? Yeah, maybe we could do that at some point. Maybe, uh, well, I don't really do live lodge tours because then it occasionally will reveal spoilers for an upcoming video. So I don't really do them live too often, but occasionally I will. Nothing here, thankfully. I bet you there's going to be some down at this lake. We'll check that in a second. Because I can almost guarantee there'll be a couple there. Since it's been a few runs since we've checked that spot. What's my favorite great one? Definitely the red deer, man. The red deer are so beautiful. Hey, there's a legendary. So that is legendary number six. Should be diamond number five. Not a super huge one, I don't think. Pretty sure this is one of the... Mm, actually, that might be Big Rack, now that I'm getting another look at it. That actually might be a good one. That might be a pretty big one. With these Red Deer, a lot of times I need a frontal view to see if it's big. That looked to be a solid hit. Yeah, he's going down. Don't you dare... F he's gonna float. He's gonna float. No. Come on, man. Ah. Uh, nothing worse than a floater diamond. Well, guess we're gonna sit here for a little bit. Uh, I don't know, Cian. Maybe. Uh, once we get this great one, we'll at least slow the grind down a bit. At least eight more red deer till the great one. I hope we get it next run, just so it's less than eight. Yeah, well, perfect timing. Hey, Jenners, how's it going? Any tips for Whitetail? Not really yet, because I haven't hunted them since the update. Uh, once I've hunted them a little bit, then I can give some tips. Finally got my great one after 18 legendaries. Nice, Jacquees, that's awesome. Hey, Keaton, how's it going? I haven't watched him in quite a while, Wyatt, so... I mean, it's nice. 
That is quite the accomplishment. You know what else is a pretty crazy accomplishment? Having a floater that gets here quickly. That would be an incredible accomplishment, but I don't think that's ever going to happen. <laughs> uh, yes, Fusion, I've had three of those that have trolled. Uh, no, Landon, I haven't, and please don't spam. Spamming's not going to get you anywhere except timed out. Uh, which one are you referring to, JL? Are you talking about the pen bug? Nice, Carson. That's awesome, dude. That's quite a lengthy grind, though. Uh, Jacoby, I, I, already, I already replied. I already replied to that. You don't gotta spam it. Can we walk out to it? Almost. Maybe. Come on. And this should be a big one. 267. That is tax worthy there. That one we will tax. That is a big mail right there. 267. Jeez. Yeah, to be honest, I wonder the same thing, Kyla. Like, sometimes it just blows my mind. How people, like, continue to repeat after I say stop repeating. <laughs> That's pretty cool, though. A 267.30 Red Deer. That is by far the best of the day. Let's update our diamond count. Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's check this zone now. I'm almost positive there's got to be at least two or three here. Nice, Will. That's awesome. Currently grinding Rex Deer using the herd management tactic and have got 21 diamonds. Uh, why did that? Okay, there we go. Three rares and seven trolls in just under 1k kills. Not bad. Not bad at all. That is pretty good. Is it cooler today? Uh, not really, Caitlin. It's going to be hot for the next week. Next week's all going to be above the 90s for the most part. Gonna be a pretty miserably hot week. Uh, try following the rules and reading them, Ryan. That would be a really good start. Read the rules, follow them, and you won't get timed out. It's as simple as that. You know, it's crazy. If you follow the rules, uh, you'll just get to chat like normal. Crazy, right? Okay, we need to remove a tent from somewhere. I want to take away this one, but I'm afraid that some of them might respawn up here as well, so... Let's see. Please don't be anything respawned here. Because I want to be able to remove this tent. But I can actually use it for a different spot. Honestly. Oh, there's a six there. Um, hmm. I can probably leave him and not worry about it. At least it's not like a mythical or something. Uh, let's run around. I want to see what spawns in these two zones. Yeah, I've seen that, Hunter. Definitely interesting. 
Oh, nice, Levi. You know, I did that with a couple lakes, but occasionally they'll still get a random one that goes there. Like, that's what I had done with this lake. I had got it to be mainly fours, but every once in a while, there'll just be an extra one that shows up. Like, this guy was not here previously. I had this spot to only fours, and then, like, after 10 or 15 runs, it'll randomly get another one. It's so strange. Very inconvenient as well. Nice, Squonk. That's awesome. What is my biggest rare red deer? Uh, it's actually a legendary piebald troll that I got recently. Um, it should be a video from a couple days ago. That is the largest rare red deer I've ever seen. Welcome back, Friends Club. Let's see. Do we have anything here? If we don't, then we're going to remove that tent and dedicate it to uh, one of the other zones. Because there's definitely a couple spots that I would much rather have this tent. But if I've got some big respawns that are happening up here, then I won't want to completely get rid of it. Looks like that zone's good, though. I see nothing but fours. That's good to see. Very good sign. What about this zone? There's a four. Good. Okay. That's exactly what I wanted to see. The biggest thing here is a level six, so I'm going to remove this tent. Uh, no, TJ, we have not got our Great One Red Deer uh, yet. Or at least we haven't got the third one. It's been over 3,500 kills since our last Great One. Quite an unfortunate streak of nothingness. Yeah, Archie. Hey, Dill, how's it going? Good to see you. Glad you could make the stream. Nothing over there. Big male, big male. Small male. All right, we got two to shoot. Let's see. There we go. We finally hit the neck shot. About time. We have been not doing great on neck shots, so it's good to see one of them actually work. Do you have a diamond Bathidi Ibex? Yeah, Richard, I do. I got a few of them. I haven't hunted them in a while, though. Nice. Take me outdoors. That's awesome, dude. There's a seven and an eight. Nice, nice. Love to see it. Couple small males. That is such a weird mythical. I don't know if we're going to be able to get that seven. He's tucked way back there. Tucked in a terrible spot. Oh, we actually got him vitally. Wow. You know, I'll take it. I didn't expect that shot to hit well. So I will definitely take that. Nice, monkey. That's awesome. Can you try one time to hunt unpopular diamonds like sheep, rabbit, fox, jackal, etc. to see how hard it is to find? Oh, uh, we've already done quite a bit of that, Royal. I've got a few diamond fox of each of them. Um, same with the rabbits. I've got a few of each diamond rabbit. I think I have three diamond jackal and quite a few mouflon and bighorn sheep. 
I've done a lot of hunts for those in the past. That's why I don't really hunt them anymore is because I've already got most of the diamonds and rares for them. Great one lion with a cool fur type and battle scars would be sick. Oh, definitely lefty. That would be a very cool great one. Is there any animal, any animal I don't have a diamond of? A lot of the Revon Tuli Coast species. Oh, there isn't any dubs. There's just... It's just common courtesy to not uh, spam somebody's stream about somebody else that's on YouTube. That's just common courtesy when it comes to YouTube. Regardless of who it is, like... It goes the same, like... I wouldn't want people spamming Flinter that I got something or that I had something big happen. Just like I don't want people spamming about other people in here. It's just a, a common thing on YouTube. It's not nice to go to somebody's stream spamming about somebody else that's on YouTube. Because when you go to a live stream, you're there for that person. You're there to watch their content and talk about them. And talk about the hunts that were going on. What's common sense? I don't know. Seems like less people have it nowadays. Two twenty-seven, not bad. What was my biggest moose? Three hundred and seven. Yeah, Deshaun, I didn't find mine till level 51. It took me a while. It definitely took a while for my first diamond. But that's awesome that you got yours. That is awesome, man. Congratulations. It's always a really cool accomplishment when you bag your first diamond. It's a great feeling. Is it like a fish? It probably is, Archie. Don't see anything here. Wow, still no respawns here. Let's go to the main menu, see if that'll trigger the respawns. Sometimes that's all you need is a quick little main menu trip. Sometimes that is all you need to get the spawns back to their zones. Let's see. Yep, it worked. We got a mythical. And a seven. Nice. Hey, Mel, how's it going? How you doing? Biggest Moose is 299? Not bad, man. That's a good one. That is a really good one. <laughs> oh my gosh, Daniel. That is an amazing joke. <laughs> that might be one of the best ones I've seen all day. Oh, that's gold. That is pure gold. Hey, Nolan, how's it going, dude? I'm doing pretty well. Doing pretty good today. I would love it if they added horses. I think horses would be a cool addition. It'd be a, a quieter way of getting around the map fast. Let's see, what do we got? At our favorite zone. Alright, so if we can get it to work, I want to show you guys the fastest way to grind red deer. Because I discovered something- ooh, legendary. I discovered something yesterday that is pretty insane. And it was the way that I was able to kill 20 red deer in 10 minutes with my, uh, with my current herds. So basically what we're gonna do is only hunt three locations. This spot here, these zones here, and this zone here. We're only gonna hunt these zones for like three or four runs. And when I was doing that, I was getting some pretty insane kill numbers. So let's do it. And 
No, Royal. We're just talking about having horses to riot in the game. Would be pretty cool. That's a four. Random four, by the way. Where did that guy come from? That could be cool, Nash, but the thing is, like, what would you even use, like, uh, the meat from the animals for in Call of the Wild? Like, they'd have to add something to use it with. Yeah, we definitely had a herd run away on us. I don't know where they've gone, but there's definitely a missing herd here. Where could it have possibly ended up? I guess maybe this lake, um, not that one. This lake. I think it's gotta be at that lake, because I have noticed there's more there. And unfortunately, that's something that happens with the Red Deer grind. I've seen quite a few situations where a herd moves just randomly without me deleting the zone for no apparent reason. Quite unfortunate. Was that a pie dough? No, I don't think so. I mean, it could have been. There's our legendary. I guess it could have been. Possibly. Got those. That was like, what, four stags in probably two minutes? So we're making good time so far. I'd say it's been about two minutes since we started. Uh, that guy's gonna be a problem, though. That guy is gonna be a little bit of a problem. Not exactly in a grabbable area, so we're probably gonna leave him. Because with this uh, quick little method that I'm showing you guys, it, uh, you wanna be as fast as possible, so I'm probably gonna leave that floater. Mythical. Level seven. Seven. A lot of big males this run. Love to see it. Love to see it. How to get rare females? Uh, shoot females and hope for rare respawns. Oh, legendary. Hey. <laughs> there's, there's a diamond. Well, that's gonna slow down this run a little bit. Um, we'll just real quickly drop a shot into it. Quickly switch over. Not gonna get the last one, I don't think. We'll try. Nope, missed. Alright, not gonna waste time. We're trying for speed this time around. Uh, it's pretty typical, Evan. Not every day, but anytime, like, something happens in another stream or another channel, there's usually quite a bit of spam. It is what it is, though. That is uh, the main reason why we have sub mode on, because uh, without sub mode, the spam is even worse. I've seen some pretty insane spam back before I started doing sub uh, subscriber mode. We used to have like people come in here that would just spam, like they they only came in here to spam. And I've noticed that making it so it's subscriber only chat, it has fixed a lot of the uh, issues with random spam bots and stuff like that. Two fifty four, not bad. Solid little diamond. Let's move along. Uh, we'll increase the diamond counter later. I don't want to waste time since we're doing this method. So now that I've hit all three locations, I'm going to go to the main menu. And then we're going to jump back in. And continue our uh, rotation. We're going to be spawned at this tent, which is good because we're not going to spook anything that way. Head back down here. Uh, smoke all of those. Yeah, I know, Bryce. I didn't tax it on purpose. At this point, guys, we have hit 142 diamond red deer in the last week and a half. So, I'm only taxing the big ones. It's uh, not worth taxing the smaller ones anymore. Because it's uh, just a waste of money and lodge space. I, I really don't have the lodge space anymore. So, we're not taxing those. Oof. Is that another legendary? It is. I forgot to add to the troll counter as well. We'll do that after, I guess. Uh, Cannon, thank you so much for the super chat. Really appreciate it, dude. And Glittered Kitten, welcome to the channel. Really appreciate that. Enjoy the green name and chat special badge icon on all the awesome emotes. Ability to use commands, access to private Discord channels, ones you link Discord, YouTube, and access to my scrap content on the channel. Really appreciate it. Thank you for becoming a member. 
While we're on the loading screen, I'll update the troll counter. Gosh, we've had 73 trolls over my 10,000 or so red deer kills, or like 9,900. That is crazy. <laughs> so we basically average two diamonds and one troll for every 100 kills. That is absurd. What happened to the tracks? Uh, what do you mean, Gage? What do you mean, what happened to the tracks? Mythical, mythical, four, and seven. Okay, we got some big males over there. But yeah, this has been the fastest way to grind red deer. Just these three zones and then main menu after you hunt all three of them. Because, I mean, that's three big males just down, tent right next to them to claim them quick. Crazy. The tracks were flashing. Oh, it was because I tabbed out. I tabbed out to update the uh, troll count. So it was uh, bugging out a little bit. That's a pretty typical thing. Big male there. Uh, one of the shooter stags is not here anymore. Uh-oh. We're having a lot of them turn into fours. We might need to swap at some point. Ah, uh, Friends Club, thank you for the super chat. Really appreciate that. Super generous of you. Thank you for the support. Ah, uh, they do respawn, Eno. If you don't pick them up, they will respawn. However, I have noticed that they don't arrive at their zones as quickly if you do it that way, so I recommend picking them up anyway. Okay, he's not actually floating, I don't think. We can probably just fast travel over here. Oh! No, that's not okay. <laughs> okay, so let's see. We killed four the first time, three the second time for seven, plus three over there for a total of ten. This would be eleven, and then twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. We've killed fifteen stags in eight minutes. That's pretty crazy. Fifteen stags in eight minutes, guys. And provided there's like three or four here, we will get close to that, uh... Mythical? Mythical? <laughs> oh my gosh, there's so many mythicals. Love to see it. Love to see it. No, we hit the hind. Oh, well, we got three. That'll bring us up to 18 stags. Actually, wait, no. No, 20 stags, because we shot two out of the herd over here on the first run as well. So yeah, this will be stag number 18. 19's over here, and then 20 should be right there. We have literally one minute before we will have hit 10 minutes on this uh, this little run right here. Or 10 minutes since we started grinding just the three zones. Can we do it before it switches over to 12.32 for me? We did it. There we go. Just like that, 20 stags in like nine and a half minutes. It's kind of insane that you can do that with like some really finely cultivated zones. Now back over here, we'll just keep doing this until we start to see them move to different zones. Eventually, they you will see a few of them to move to different zones and then you'll have to hunt those. But this is what I've been doing, just like uh, zooming through all these zones a few times. Then doing a couple runs around the entire set of zones that I hunt. Seems to be a pretty effective way of 
getting a lot of stags down super fast. Uh oh, why can't I spot them? Uh, I can spot these? What is wrong with this herd? I, I don't actually see the spotting outlines. That's so strange. Oh, now I can't. What? <laughs> what? Look, I'm spotting them right now. That is so weird. That is so weird. I don't know how to feel about that. That's odd. Ghost heard something like that. <laughs> that was so strange. I've never seen that before. Very, uh, very strange. Imagine I pick it up and it's like a glitched great one or something. Yeah, it's really strange, JL. That's the first time I've seen that. Very, uh, very odd, to say the least. Hello, feral goats. You guys just hanging out by this level six? Yeah, we only got one. Oh, act correction. They're all down there. They're way farther back than normal. Like, way, way farther back. Very strange. Let's see what we can see in this other herd. Probably a bazillion fours like always. Uh, oh, we got some extra ones back. Just out of nowhere, we got another shooter. They're over there. Strange, but you know, I'll take it. It must suck to be a deer. Uh, yeah, it doesn't seem like it's a very good life. Getting repeatedly shot by Scarecrow. Definitely doesn't seem fun. Um, I like to do this type of technique, Royal, where... Uh, let's say you have two zones that you want to hunt at the same lake. Put, put a tent on each of them. And then, use one of them to shoot these. Fast travel. Shoot the others. And then you can just use the tents to claim them. Pretty efficient way of doing it. Come on, can we get it? Yes, we can. I love it when I'm actually able to get out to them. Alright, Kyla, no worries. Do what you gotta do. Uh, yes, Aviator, yes. Uh, no elements. I'm gonna stick to single player. I don't grind in multiplayer when it comes to like great one grinds. Too many possibility of, of somebody stealing a great one from me. Mythical, six, level six. Okay, so we're starting to see that there's less and less of them. This is the one problem I've noticed about this quick three zone grinding technique. Is I will get some that end up going to different lakes and then I'm gonna have to start branching out and hunting those as well. That's what we're gonna end up doing on the next run most likely. But this is gonna be a quick way to get a bunch of stags down kind of mid grind. Yeah, it's quite unfortunate Archie. Friends Club, thank you for the super chat again. Really appreciate it. This is luck for your great one. Love you on the vids. Thanks, dude. I really appreciate that, man. Glad you enjoy the content. And thank you for the super chat once again. Hopefully that'll bring the luck. Hopefully we will get the luck now. Uh, Cannon, thank you for the super chat. Really appreciate that, dude. No, this is your luck. 
<laughs> well, thank you. The double luck will hopefully get us a great one. You never know. The double luck just might be what we needed. Uh, let's go to this zone here. Jackson, thank you for the super chat as well, man. Finally got the Black Bear Great One. That is awesome, man. That is super awesome. I bet that felt amazing to see that 10 fabled. When animals respawn, do they get bigger? They can get bigger, smaller, or stay the same. It's pretty random. They can come back as pretty much anything. It seems like they definitely, most of the time, try to come back as roughly the same. But they can go larger or smaller. <laughs> Pretty much, Caitlin. I would not doubt that one bit. Brobra is very good at smoking everything rare on your map and then asking you if it's rare. <laughs> That's a six, and that is a six as well. Yeah, it should be good. I think we got them both. Uh, Gerald was level three. Two rares in less than 100 kills. That is awesome, dude. I wish I had that type of rare luck. I'm finding tons of diamonds, but not a lot of rares, sadly. No, the great one can, Connor. They fixed that. They fixed the bug that caused it not to. You've technically always been able to get a great one in multiplayer. It's just for the longest time it was bugged and didn't show up as a great one. But, uh, probably a year ago, they fixed that so that you can get them in multiplayer. Alright, let's check this lake. I guarantee there's a couple here. We should probably reset the time first, though. But I can almost guarantee there's gonna be some there. There are quite a few of them, Brody. I would recommend, uh, checking every spot of water on your map. Uh, just to know where yours are gonna be because they can vary from map to map some people will have them in places that others don't so I always recommend checking all your lakes and um, Check the two river spots in the middle of the river as well Set your time to roughly 7 in the morning check this river zone check this river zone and then every single lake in the northern half of the map will have a chance at having red deer except for this one you can also get the red deer down at this lake so there's quite a variety of places they can be yeah that's kind of a similar scenario to me Kelton um let's see I've got a total of eight rares this grind. Two of them were melanistic. And the rest were piebald. The only albino I've got since the update was, I think, from my first 500 kills. So it was from before our last great one. And I haven't got an albino since. For some reason, I just feel like they're more rare than they used to be. Considering I've had two melas and only one albino ever since the update. How many diamonds have I stacked? We're not stacking diamonds today, uh, David. I've found that stacking diamonds really does not help at all. Every time we've stacked diamonds, we don't get anything good. 16, Flanky. You can have 16 per map. Uh, no, Georgia. Sadly, I have not seen one in real life. I did see a blonde blacktail doe, though. I didn't actually know they could be blonde until I, uh, saw one in real life. Pretty cool. It looks just like the blonde mule deer, except with a blacktail deer.
Uh, yes, Caitlin, I do believe so. However, I noticed something. And... Maybe it's a bug? But I feel like it's 32 tripods and 32 tree stands. Because I had a few situations where it said I had maxed out my tripods. And then I used a tree stand and it let me place it. So... Maybe you're able to do 32 of each? Might have to test it out, but... I feel like it's 32 of each. Uh, no, Blue Leaf. Blacktail and Mule Deer are not the same. Blacktail is a subspecies of the Mule Deer. They're much smaller. They look a little bit different as well. Just like the uh, Sitka Blacktail Deer is like a subspecies of regular Blacktail Deer, I believe. Or maybe they're just a different... Maybe they're a different species. I think they're a subspecies, though. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, definitely glittered. I think there's definitely a 32 count limit for each of them. I just feel like there is, from what I've seen. Like I was saying, though. Might be wrong, but I think that there is. It is a subspecies? Okay, thought so. Have you got anything good? Uh, yeah, we've got five diamonds and one troll. As of now, five diamonds and one troll. Zero rares, though, which is unfortunate. How many red deer do you guys think we've killed? Uh, during today? I feel like we've probably killed 150. Actually, probably more. We've been going for almost three hours. Because we were able to kill like 20 of them in 10 minutes. We definitely weren't doing that the entire stream, but 10 for 10 minutes, definitely. I'd say definitely at least 150 then. Probably like 160. Yeah, I'll just write down 160. That seems about right. Jeez, we are like 20 kills off of 10,000 red deer kills overall. Ever since the Great One Red Deer released. Okay, nothing has moved here, thankfully. Where are some of these moving, then? Uh, maybe up here? Really curious where some of these are disappearing to. What do I want as the next Great One? Um, well, I'd want a Blacktail Deer, but I don't think we'll get a Blacktail Deer. Oh, here's one of them. Just... Randomly showed up here Couple shooters here uh, It's hard to say Zachary they haven't really talked about that type of stuff much. I imagine that we'll have non typicals at least I hope Hey Norwegian hunter, how's it going dude? Glad you could make it. Oh no, Jordan. That is so unfortunate, man. Great one, Blacktail would just look like a mule deer? Not really. You gotta think, they're not gonna make it just a big Blacktail. They haven't done just a big trophy for any of them. With Whitetail, it was non-typical Great One. With the Red Deer, it was a massive Red Deer with a bunch of leaves in its antlers. For the Great One, Black Bear, it was incredibly chunky with a lot of fluff and really cool fur types. They wouldn't just make the Blacktail a big Blacktail. They would give it something special. I still think barbed wire wrapped in its antlers in a non-typical Blacktail would look incredible. So that's what I would hope for with a Blacktail Great One. Uh, yeah, Norwegian, you missed, uh, five diamonds and one troll. 
or two trolls actually we did get true two trolls didn't we I think it was five diamonds and two trolls next lake great one hopefully hopefully we can oh there we go random level five stag did not want to see you here but you know at least we're figuring out where they've been going that was not a good shot either ah he'll die probably not worth chasing though that is a very long run yeah I think we aren't gonna chase him that's that's too much too much time wasted chasing him down you can have 16 shell 16 per map nice Norwegian that's awesome dude I would love to be able to hunt some Capricallis in real life that'd be cool Yeah, Jordan, it's definitely a fun grind, and then when you see him pop up, such a good feeling. It is definitely such an incredible feeling. Okay, where are these guys going? They're just disappearing from these herds. That's not good. Okay, I think I know where they would have moved. Unfortunately, they're probably at the river. They've probably moved over here, which is kind of sad. Didn't want that to happen. How many tents can you have on your... Okay, I already read that. Um, any downside to not harvesting all your kills? Uh, you end up losing money. The other downside would be that it seems they don't arrive at their zones as quickly. So I'd say those are the downsides. Ooh. Of course we have a mythical here. Not what I wanted to see. I was hoping I could just get this zone to be Oh, there's another. There's so there's a new one here as well. Gosh, that's not good. I didn't want to have to have to use this zone again. Did not want to have to use this zone again, but I guess we're gonna have to. Three hundred magnum, Cohen. Three hundred magnum. Try not to repeat, please. Give me some time to respond, man. Can't always respond instantly, you know. Considering there's four hundred people in here, uh, don't expect instantaneous responses. I think we got both of those. Yeah, it sucks that they uh, started respawning big in that herd. Maybe I can get this herd to like move somewhere else if I delete it. Let me try that. I want to delete this herd and see where it goes. Guess we'll see where are these zones going to go. I don't even know, Kyla. It, it feels like nobody's listening to what I'm saying today. Uh, I don't get it. I've been responding to like so many messages and then they're not even listening to my responses. It is what it is though. Always going to be days like this every once in a while. Nice, David. That's awesome, dude. Best IRL trophy? Sadly, haven't got any gaming penguin. I had some pretty bad luck whenever I'd go hunting. I think part of that was just not knowing the area super well. Yeah, that's right. Run away, Red Deer. Go to a new zone. <laughs> yeah, it definitely seems like that, uh, Kyla.
Is that even a thing, aviator? Because it has to be something that's possible in real life. Is it possible to have a deer with four antlers? I'm not uh, too familiar with whether or not it is. You should go IRL hunting with Flinter? That'd be cool. If he ever comes down here to hunt some elk, could maybe make that work. Because um, my wife and I want to get back out hunting again. Wow, Kyla. <laughs> wow, rude. Ouch. You've seen deer with three? Wow, Mel, that's wild. That could be a cool great one then. I guess if that's possible, it could be pretty cool. Hey, QCK, uh, we got five diamonds and two trolls today. Sadly, no great one or big rares though. Still haven't got that super rare. Definitely, Bryler. I've been wanting that for a mule deer as well. A mule deer with a bunch of shredded velvet would be awesome. Alright, let's get to our favorite zones. Um, not sure, Zedenda. I actually haven't hunted Whitetail this update, so I don't know what I would be doing for them. Seven, four, six. So I think what's happening with this zone that we're standing on top of right now, I don't actually think the herd moved, the more I think about it. I think what happened is a lot of those turned to fours. Because I got to thinking, like, we didn't have that many fours before. And so I think that's what has been happening. I think they're turning to level fours. Oh my gosh, still pickle, that would be hilarious. A three-winged turkey. My gosh, that'd be great. Oh, where's the great one when you need him? No, there's definitely less here. Now that I'm looking at it again, there's definitely less than there used to be. One of the herds had to have moved. They absolutely had to, because there's only one shooter now. And we did have four at once. So I think it's a combination of them turning to fours and also I think one of the herds definitely moved. I think they have to be at this lake. That has to be what that large herd is. It's probably two or three herds combined. If I were to take a guess. Nice QCK, that's awesome. Mel, we have got our run down to like absolute insane levels of efficiency. I can do 20 stags in 10 minutes, hunting just three locations. This spot here, this one here, and this lake here. I can only do that for like five or six runs before the uh, stags start to disperse to other zones, but it could be a, a quick little way to get a bunch of stags fast, I've noticed. Pretty insane. Cannon, thank you for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much, man. Super generous of you as always. An absolute legend here on the channel. Great one, rabbit scale 10 to 1. Just a big, chonky rabbit. Let's see. What should we shoot first? I mean, we'll probably go with the close ones first. But the others don't spook as, or so it's not as likely that the others spook. Okay, he can run. I want to be fully reloaded before we take down the mythical. How did we not get the vitals? Thank you. Appreciate you stopping, buddy. Much appreciated. Well, thank you, Cannon. Thank you. I appreciate that. Two 
218, not bad. What's my biggest dono? I actually don't know. Because YouTube has limits, I believe. So most of the time, the big donators have to do it in multiple donations, so it's kind of hard to remember, like, what was the biggest. There's definitely been a few very generous people, though. I mean, in some ways, Waffy. It's uh, it's definitely a beautiful game. I wouldn't say the hunting style is very close to real life, though. Hey, James, you haven't missed too much besides five diamonds and two trolls. Sadly, no big rares or great ones yet. Really hoping we can uh, change that, though. Hmm, sadly that herd did not go over here. I was really hoping it would. Yeah, Waffy, definitely the uh, the aesthetics of the game do look pretty realistic. Gotta love it. Nothing casually five diamonds, I know, right? And that's just uh that's just Tiaboroa though. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. That's that's insane. A uh, friends club, thank you for the super sticker. Friends club, thank you for the super chat as well. What is your best tip for anything? More luck? Um, hmm. Trying to think. Best tip for anything. Um, just a general tip, I'd say hunt near water. Hunting near water is an amazing tip for Call of the Wild because you will see so many more animals. I'd say that's the best in general tip. And Elixity, thank you for the super chat as well. Really appreciate it. Super nice of you. Thank you so much for supporting the stream. We missed the next shot on this one, but we got the others. No, he's gonna get away. Please just jump off the jump off the side. That'd be great. It's not going to though. That's sad. Alexity, thank you for another super chat. Much appreciated. Super, super nice of you. Thank you so much for that. You wear a headset? Yes, I do, Jason. I do wear a headset. Do we have anything good here? No, they're all fours now. No! <laughs> That's not what I want for this zone. <laughs> we might have to try and swap some of them. We might have to try and swap some of them. Uh, no. No vid today, Blake. There will be a couple, um, YouTube shorts, though. I didn't have enough time to get a video done. It was like 90 degrees yesterday, so... Uh, my wife and daughter were up here with the air conditioning for most of the day, so I didn't get a chance to record. Um, but there will be a couple YouTube shorts, and tomorrow there will be a full video. Cannon, thank you for another super chat, dude. My gosh. Absolutely insane, man. Archie, I'd be very much grateful for a cold coffee emote. The cold coffee would definitely be a beautiful emote. Would definitely be a beautiful emote. Nice flip. Nice, dude. Um, Elixity, thank you for another super chat. My gosh, guys. This is crazy. What mic do I use? Um, I use a... What's it called? A Shure MV7. I use the Shure MV7. And Elixity, thank you for another super chat. <laughs> My gosh. <laughs> that is just... That is just so generous. Thank you. I really appreciate that. My gosh. But yeah, I use the Shure MV7. 
Um, I used to use the Blue Yeti as well, which is also a good microphone, but this Shure MV7 is just amazing. I absolutely love it. Lo oh, it's a 7. Oh, gosh. Ah, oh, about gave me a heart attack. I thought it was a 9. It's a good looking 7, though. That's a beautiful 7. Finally, got a nice looking rare on the day. I freaked out for a second. I thought it was bigger. Ah, <laughs> uh, thought it was a great one. I kind of did too, Johnny. I was like, wait a minute, that looks lighter. Is that the fabled spotted? Nope. Oh my gosh. I don't care though. That's a beautiful, beautiful level seven piebald. Let's get this thing down. Yeah, I thought it was a great one at first too. That that did kind of uh kind of trick me into thinking that it might have been. Double heart shot? Can we triple Oh, triple heart shot. Ah, we missed the last one. No. <laughs> we almost had a quad heart shot, but we barely missed it on that guy. That could have been insane. That's still awesome though. That is still awesome. Cannon, thank you for another super chat. Fight me. <laughs> but but I can't. I'd, I'd just be punching pixels. I'd just be throwing hands with my monitor. I can't pull a summit 1G. But thank you once again, dude. Gosh, that is a beautiful piebald. That actually might be one of the better piebalds we've killed in a while. One of the nicer looking level 7s. Even- uh, actually it's kind of uneven. It looked better on the ground, but it's still a good one. This is still a very beautiful piebald. Still a very nice looking 7. Like the rack kinda works. It's a little bit mismatched, but it kinda works. Regardless, all level 7s look good for the most part, so... Always happy to get a level 7 rare. Yeah, exactly, Kyla. Like, it's not the best combination of antlers, but it's good still. Like, for a rare, it's pretty good looking. Definitely happy with it. Honestly, I am more excited about rares than diamonds with this grind. Uh, because of how common herd management has made diamonds for us, definitely more excited about a good looking rare like that. That is just beautiful. Yeah, me too, Ashley. I thought it was the great one at first as well. Caught me uh, off guard a little bit. Yeah, I've had some pretty ugly uh, combinations of racks, Dill. I've seen a few on rares that were just really mismatched. Like that one, it was mismatched, but it was still like a tolerable mismatched set of antlers. Yeah, hopefully, Flanky. Um, well, I wasn't really having any issues with crashing on Streamlabs recently. However, I wasn't able to get my, um, my overlays, as you can see. I don't have the overlays on stream today because of, uh, Streamlabs being weird. Oh, yes, Kyla, those things look amazing. Especially, especially the roe deer, just because of the antlers. Ooh, oh, there we go, legendary. Every time I spot a legendary, I can't help but just think to myself, ah, could have been a super rare, but it's not. Could have been a super rare, but it's not. Still a good looking legendary though. Unfortunate that it came up to this zone though. Makes me wonder if I'm gonna have like a legendary spawn clear up here where I don't look anymore. That would be quite sad. Yeah, true, Archie. The, the Roosevelt's and the Moose do look pretty good, too. I think best looking piebalds in the game. It's gotta be Caribou, Roe Deer, Musk Deer, Red Deer. And then what's, what would the last one be? Trying to round out like a top five for me. I would say the last one would probably be 
Maybe the Ray Fox piebald? There's just something about that white face on the piebald Gray Fox that I really love. It looks so cool. Yeah, exactly, Kyla. The pie Gray Fox looks so good. And I won't be biased because I don't have a, a super rare one like Flinter. <laughs> yeah, the reindeer and caribou, they look really good. I consider those to be the same, though, because they're very similar looking. So I'm kind of lumping those into one. Reindeer and caribou are, uh, they're both one of the top for me. 266. Ah, uh, so close to being big enough to be tax worthy, but we'll just get a screenshot and move along. He's not quite past that 267 mark, which is the cutoff for taxing diamond red deer from now on for me. Not quite big enough to tax. Let's update the diamond count. That's 143 diamonds in the last 3,700 kills. And also, guys, we are officially at 10,000 red deer harvests in total. Roughly 10,010. Absolutely insane. Like, my gosh. And out of all 10,000 kills, that is diamond 185. I don't tax the smaller ones MTB because with herd management, we can get a diamond red deer like every 40 to 50 kills. So we're only taxing the big ones. If it's above 267 or just has a really special and cool rack, then we will tax it. Um, but with the amount that I've got taxed already, I'm trying not to overflow my lodge too much. Uh, Cause right now I've probably got a hundred plus red deer taxed already. For diamond ones. Elixity, thank you for the super chat again. Really appreciate it. That's super generous of you. So many super chats coming through today. I don't know what to say. What is the biggest moose I've ever killed? 307 is the biggest one I've killed. However, I don't believe they can get that big anymore. I haven't seen one reach that size since the update that uh, changed them. Mythical? Okay, that's a good looking mythical. Aw, that is an adorable little level four. It's interesting to only see one big uh, stag at this zone, because for a while we were getting like three of them, but they seem to have moved. Oh, don't run me over. Chill. Um, it varies quite a bit, Atlantic. Um, there is a lot of different kill counts I've seen great ones be got in. There's no way to really predict it. It could happen on your first run. It could take 10,000 kills. It could take 20. Some people get it in like 500. It varies a lot. How many level fours would you say you have chilling on your map? At least like 80 of them, Kyla. Like, um, let me think. Let's... Let's real quickly look at the map. I know where most of my fours are. I've got probably six level fours up here. Actually, no, I've got like eight of them now. There's like eight fours there. There is probably six fours up at these zones. There's probably six or seven fours at this lake. There's around 20 level fours at this lake. There is probably close to 20 at this lake as well. And then just random four scattered throughout the rest of the zones. Oh my gosh, Cannon. Dude. Dude. Cannon. Thank you for the three $1 super chats. <laughs> that is crazy, dude. Oh, and also that's counting level threes as well. There's probably 80 plus that are level four and below. I've got at least four level twos as well, which is kind of cool. I actually like having lots of twos because you don't see them too often. So it's uh, kind of cool to just leave the twos on the map. But again, thank you, Cannon. Oh my gosh, man. <laughs> nice, Porter. 4,000 kills into the Black Bear grind. Jeez, Chope, that's unlucky. That is some unlucky numbers. 
What does leaving the forest do? It causes the rest of them to respawn pretty big. Through herd management, which is basically just leaving everything that's level 4 or below and only shooting the 5s and above, you can get a lot of those remaining ones to spawn in pretty large. I very consistently get diamonds every like 30 to 50 kills and a troll or two every 100 kills. So it definitely seems to like cause large males to spawn pretty often. And honestly, the only thing I can think of is it's got to be some type of balance the game has set. And this has been a theory for years. I remember back like three plus years ago, um, both Flinter and Jaxie Beard had theories that there was some type of system to balance out the animals on your map. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I believe they were talking about it being like a herd balancing thing, but I honestly feel like it's an... an oh, no, again! No! Why again? Oh, that's so crushing! <sighs> oh gosh, that sucks, man. I'm happy that we've got another legendary piebald, but it's another guaranteed troll! That sucks so much. It, it's so cool, but it sucks at the same time. <laughs> uh, I've been grinding so hard for a super rare, and to see two troll nines, two troll nine piebalds in the process is just, it's heartbreaking. Man. <laughs> It's still cool to see, but it sucks that they're guaranteed trolls. Cannon, thank you for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. <laughs> wow, man. Troll. Legendary red deer. Should be a solid hit. Let's uh, get that guy down too. Gosh, I can't believe that. A guaranteed troll again. That's our second guaranteed troll piebald. It, it's still awesome, don't get me wrong. It's awesome that we're getting level 9 rares, but... Uh, why did it have to be... Did that... Whoa, that first shot did not connect. That was so weird. Let's go get him. <laughs> it just sucks that it's a guaranteed troll. Uh, not completely, Ashley. Um, one of the mods here, Archie, actually got a diamond piebald a couple days ago. Which is a pretty crazy trophy. Sadly, we're not lucky enough to get that, but... Archie managed to get a, uh... Piebald legendary that actually ended up making it. Let's go find this piebald. Uh, I don't know which direction it ran off in. Or even, like, where we shot it. Where is the blood? Definitely not there. Did we not? How? How? What? How is that not vitals? What did I hit? What did we end up hitting? Was I zeroed improperly, maybe? Um, I don't think we hit vertebrae. I think we completely missed everything. It's still 75 to 100, so. That was weird. I'm very curious what happened. Yeah, thank goodness it's a troll. Well, if it was a diamond one, there's no way I would have took that shot. Yeah, we definitely completely missed every organ. Yeah, it could be shoulder. It definitely could be shoulder. In, in fact, it probably is. Probably did get the shoulder blade. 
Because I did lead it a little bit, expecting the bullet to drop back. But maybe I led too much. That could definitely be a possibility. Honestly, honestly, if we could get him right here, that'd be cool. I wish I knew if he had died. Let's grab the disturbed veg just to make sure this is the piebald we're tracking. Because it's possible maybe I hit a different one. I, I doubt it, but... Yeah, this is our piebald. Gosh. Imagine this is him right here. That'd be cool, honestly. Okay, that's the small one. I don't think he would have died, though. So I think we'll be good there. I know, right, Kyla? My dog's just going crazy over here like, dude, I'm tracking him for you. Why aren't you following? We're going to take it slow. Try not to spook him off because he's definitely not hit in the vertebrae. So I think we can safely stock up on him. And probably be able to get him in this uh, thick woods here. And honestly, taking him in this thick forest would be so cool. I honestly would not mind that one bit. It would be pretty awesome. Because I don't think he died. I think we're definitely going to be okay. Oh. 50 to 75. He lost a little health, but... Not a ton. As long as we don't see it go 0 to 25, I think we'll be okay. Okay, so he did start coming back. We might actually just want to wait here. Tracking prey. Yes, he's still alive. Okay, sweet. So we know for a fact he's still alive now because our dog says tracking prey instead of tracking blood. So we didn't kill him. The question is, where did we hit him? Because I have no clue where that could have been except maybe shoulder blade. Like, it could have been scapula. Oh yeah, Johnny, if it was 7 mil, it would definitely have died. But since we're using the M1, we're good. Gosh, this is such a beautiful part of the forest. This will be a crazy spot to take him. I need a screenshot of this, actually. This is beautiful. Where is he going to be? Did he already move back? He might have snuck past us already. Kind of looking like that. Definitely looking like he did double back already. Ah, no, because this is a run track, so I think we spooked him again.
Ah, uh, they should be, Jason. They're probably just going to different zones. Red deer move a lot. You gotta keep up with where they end up going. They will move. Oh, there he is. There he is. There's our beauty. Should be good. We got him. Let's go. Highballed legendary down. Highballed legendary down. Oh, oh, there's another legendary by him. Where was this guy? That, where was that guy hiding? <laughs> oh my gosh. So there was a, another troll next to him. Oh, they died. They died on top of each other. That's beautiful. You guys deserve a picture together. Gosh, man. It sucks to see the guaranteed troll piebalds. I'm just happy that we got another big pieball, though. That was two pieballs in one run as well, I think. Or in two runs, maybe? One or two runs. 238 pieball legendary. Wow, so that's what we did wrong. I didn't aim high enough. Jeez. I just can't believe we've been trolled twice by a piebald now. Uh, it's so unfortunate. I'm glad we got the second shot though because that was that was a quite an unfortunate miscalculation of range. Wow. Once again, it is uneven, but it's a decent looking uneven one. Too bad that it's guaranteed to be a troll though. Oh well though. Just nice to get another legendary piebald even if it is a troll. Crazy guys, absolutely crazy. And here's the other one, 240. Wow, it's rare they break 240 with the troll rack. Can't believe that. Can't believe that. All right, it's now 10, so we can reset the time. Let's go claim these first, though. We had a two more down, I believe. What's the rarest red deer fur type? It kind of seems like it's albino now. Time for a super rare albino. EW, stop being stingy. I hope so, Kyla. I want a super rare albino or melanistic so bad. But it seems like melanistics and... Albinos are just so rare this update Ever since the update hit, uh, let's see my stats. I've got a total of oh, let me let me write down two rare legendaries now real quickly Okay, so since the update I have had a total of 14 rares Only one has been an albino and two have been melanistics the other 11 have been piebald. I feel like albino is much more rare than it used to be. And for some reason, I'm finally getting melanistics as well. I don't know what happened with the update, but definitely noticing some different uh, spawn rates with some of these rares. I am so convinced now that there's got to be some type of like hidden chance at finding specific rares for specific people because I had you know probably five or six thousand red deer kills before the update never seen a melanistic on my own map the update hits two melanistics I feel like everybody's got different like uh chances at each of the rares or like each map maybe has a, a different chance of spawning stuff. I don't know. I could be completely wrong. Obviously, it's just a guess. But it definitely feels like it sometimes. It definitely feels like certain people get more of certain rares off of their map versus what other people do off of their map. All right, we should probably go to the main menu.
This is T. Abarorf. My gosh, T. Abaroa. Flama. It could be Mel, but it's just so strange that before the update, I couldn't find a Melanistic for the life of me, but albinos were everywhere for me, and now this update, albinos are almost non-existent, and I've got two Melas. But like I was saying, it's hard to say. Uh, Candon, thank you for the super chat, dude. Much appreciated, man. Thank you so much. Hope you've been doing great. Ooh, this one respawned as a four over here. Uh-oh. Um, you know what that means, though? I think I can stop hunting this zone, then. I actually think we can stop hunting this now. You know, that's gonna speed things up a lot, actually. Because that means I can remove both those tents. I'm going to leave it here for one more run, see if things change, but I think we can officially get rid of the zone from our grind. Kind of hoping we can, because that's three tents that I can dedicate to something else. Oh, definitely copper, definitely. Level seven, seems like the only shooter. Yeah, Fallow definitely don't seem as good as pre-update, in my opinion. They definitely seem like they're not as good. But then again, I didn't really hunt them a ton, so... I might not be the best uh, judge of whether or not they're better or worse. So I really didn't hunt them too much. Ah, uh, this is so sad to see this zone be, like, nothing but small males. It used to be insane. Now, uh, our lakes have switched around quite a bit. I'm definitely gonna have to try and swap some of these fours later. Try to get the fours to swap with some larger ones. So many small males. Definitely gonna have to try and get these to swap out with big ones, because I like having uh, these two zones being nothing but big males. Makes the grind so much faster. Uh, no, Flanky. Sadly, it was not a super. It was a troll. Guaranteed troll, unfortunately. But, I mean, we've got two really nice piebalds on the day, so... Can't really complain too much, even though it was sad to see a troll. Big mythical. Big, big mythical. Three good sevens and a mythical. Honestly, I think all my big males are just here. And that lake that we found the nine uh, piebald at. I think that's where all my big males have moved. Which isn't terrible. It just sucks to see my favorite zone dwindle down to virtually nothing good. Oh, rocket deer. Ooh. Oh my gosh. That poor dude just got spined. That poor thing. Probably Kylo would not doubt it. He probably does just want to see you make another video. Is 308 good, better for Red Deer or 30 out 6? Uh, 308 is technically better, but I've noticed some inaccuracies with it recently, so I've been using the M1 Garand instead. But the 308 still is like one of the better rifles for them. It just seems like it shoots to the right at long range currently, which is the only reason I'm not using it. What is a super rare? A diamond that also has a rare fur type. So like an albino diamond red deer would be a super rare. Mythical. And a five.
Uh, Cannon, thank you for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. Hope you're doing well, man. Another super chat. I can't even keep up with all these, dude. Just so, so generous of you. Like, my gosh. I really don't even know what to say. What guns do I use? I use the 300 Magnum and the M1 Garand at the moment. But uh, what I use changes from update to update. Terrifical Mythical. Indeed, Ryan. We got a Terrifical Mythical. Honestly, I never get tired of seeing this rack for Mythicals. I love this rack so much. It reminds me of the Legacy Diamond Red Deer. It just looks so nice. Nice, take me outdoors, that's awesome, dude. That is awesome. But yeah, this is one of my favorite mythical racks. There's like three or four different variations of it too with different amounts of tines. Absolutely love them. They look so nice. So, so nice. Uh, no. Light brown turkey are not rare. How much longer for stream? Ah, uh, this is probably the final run, I would say, Bluely. We've been going for like, what, three hours and 20 minutes or three hours and 15 minutes? Should probably jump off and eat some lunch. And also get some recording done for tomorrow's video. Uh, <laughs> that's definitely not possible, Easton, but you know. Uh, cool, cool, I guess. Yeah, that's still the only one there. Yeah, I think I saw like a 27 light brown turkeys last time I went on Silver Ridge Peaks, probably. Probably rare. Whoops, we hit the hind. <laughs> and then... Okay, we did get him. I thought maybe we missed the vitals. Hard shot floater, Mella. Oh gosh. Hopefully your game doesn't crash, man. That would be terrible. Where did this guy run to? Straight up in here, right? Yes, straight up into the woods. All right, later, Caitlin. Thanks for dropping in. Back down here, we'll see if uh, anything else shows up. Ouch, I just like accidentally caught my headphones cord in my foot, or caught my foot around the headphones cord and just ripped it off my head, that hurt. Ouch. <laughs> Nice, Collide. That's awesome, dude. Uh, Elixity, thank you for the super chat. You should do a day in the life. Ah! I don't know. I don't really show too much stuff from my personal life. Maybe one of these days, though. But I don't really show any IRL stuff. But thank you for the super chat once again. And Cannon, thank you for a super chat as well, dude. Really appreciate it. You're a menace to yourself. I definitely am, Archie. Level five, huh? Unfortunate. 
Hand him with another super chat, dude. My gosh. I don't know what to do anymore. I'm gonna run out of uh, things to say. <laughs> really appreciate it, dude. That is uh, incredible. Oh, he stopped. No, that would have been the perfect shot. He stopped at the worst time possible. Let's just hit him a couple more times so he'll eventually die. Well, he'll he'll die eventually. Not gonna be able to claim him though, because he's gonna be so far away. How many kills do I get a day? A lot, Raider. A lot. I think during this stream alone, we've probably killed 200. And I was grinding all day yesterday. I think I easily got 700 kills during yesterday's grinding session. Ooh. Random mythical back here. Love to see it. Love to see it. Yeah, because I literally grinded the entire day yesterday. And I easily got like six or seven hundred red deer kills. Uh, the 16th elements. August 16th it comes out. Because it's faster, Ashley. Nice, Brody. That's awesome, man. That is awesome. Hey, Brayden. How's it going? Uh, this map is Tiabaroa, John. Later, Chris. Thanks for watching. We got a seven, a seven. Ooh, legendary. How's it going, buddy? Got one legendary. Not a rare, though. So sad to not see it be rare. Guys, I am about to do something that uh, might be painful to watch, so I suggest if you uh, have a weak stomach, do not watch, as this will be quite upsetting to see. At this point, I just want a super rare or a great one. I'm just going with the fast route. 252 would have been a small diamond. Add it to the count. Ah, gosh. A floater. The bane of my existence, these floaters. That's like what, uh, I think that's diamond eight of the day. Diamond number eight with four trolls. That's like 12 legendaries. Honestly, we're having a pretty good day for rares and level nines. Uh, definitely didn't hit any of the, any of the others good though, so that's sad. Floaters on Rancho suck so much. Oh, definitely. Rancho floaters are the worst because all the lakes are huge. So you gotta wait like 10 years just for them to float over. Definitely the worst. Oh no, Flip. That sucks, dude. That's definitely not good. Very unfortunate. Oh no, Barbara. That sucks. Ah, oh, that would that would be terrible to lose an eight albino. Those are so rare. I've only ever got one level eight albino. The rest of mine have been level seven and below. Level eight albinos are very rare.
Is a red brown wolf rare? I believe it is now. It didn't used to be, but I think it is now. Yeah, exactly 12, Archie. I think it's been exactly 12 level 9s. I might be wrong by like 1 or 2, but I think it's been 12 level 9s. With 8 of them being diamond. Pretty solid day, honestly. But those two piebalds were more exciting than any of the regular 9s. Yeah, that's a 4. Nice, Elixity. That's awesome. Happy early birthday. There's actually three we can shoot there, I think. Or is it just two? Oh, it's just two, actually. Get both of those down, though. Curious where some of our stags are going. We're definitely missing some. I don't know where they would have gone, though. Maybe we should check the river zone, actually. I'm starting to think that river zone might be accruing a bunch of, uh, stags that we're missing. Oh, there we go. Another legendary. So, that's legendary 13, I believe. Unlucky number 13. <laughs> Uh, which one is this? That's definitely small rack. That is small rack. The mass on the lower beams is very thin compared to what the big rack looks like. So that is definitely the small one. There's like virtually no mass. He's kind of behind a hind as well. All right, we got him. Don't do it. Don't worry. I'm not going to 302 of them. I just had to do it on one just to see what it felt like, you know? <laughs> I had to know what it felt like. And I figure with Red Deer, that's the, the one where it won't really feel too bad because I've seen so many of them. How do you get so many nines? Herd management. Shoot only level fives and above. After probably four or five hundred kills, you'll start to see results where... Though you won't be killing as many red deer because of the fact you're only killing fives and above, but uh, you'll see a lot of fours show up on your map. And by the time you get a ton of threes, fours, and twos on your map, uh, the ones that aren't threes, fours, and twos will be consistently much bigger. Biggest thing with this method is to not give up early. I always in the past had gave up way too early and didn't see the results because of it. But with the Red Deer, I've stuck with it, and because of that, we consistently get some absolute giants like this guy. That is another diamond on the day. Let's see. That brings us to 145 in this grind alone. That's pretty crazy. So in roughly 3,800 stag kills, we have 145 diamonds. Absolutely absurd. All right, we'll do one more check through all of our zones before we end. Just to see if we've got a great one. Gotta do one more scan through everything just to see. Before I go get some lunch. That's a five. So just a five there. Hey, bro, bro, how's it going? We got a troll legendary again, or a troll, uh, piebald. We got a guaranteed troll piebald today. Cannon, thank you for the super chat again, dude. Absolute legend. 
You're absolutely insane, man, with all this support. Thank you so much once again. My gosh. What an absolute legend. You know, legend says that Cannon is a legend. Oh, wow, Ryan. That's a big one. That's a big level 8. Yeah, Tragic, I'm not taxing the ones below 267 anymore. Oh my gosh, where'd all these come from? Oh wait, never mind. Th that's a four. So we got two respawns up here. Wow, Archie. Wow, man. Wow. How do you swap spawns? Uh, shoot some females or small males in one zone. Don't pick them up. Go shoot some big males out of a different zone. Don't pick those up either. Go to the main menu, enter back into the game, and there's like a 50% chance for each of them to swap zones. Yeah, absolutely roasted. Archie absolutely shredded me with that roast. You guys have heard of uh, roasted turkey. Well, we got roasted scarecrow now. Uh, no elements. I, I'm not going to be doing any more today. After we get done with the stream, I'm going to go eat some lunch and then get to recording. Because I got to get a video ready for tomorrow. Okay, yeah, we just got a level 6 there. What about down here? We'll also have to check the river zone. Because we don't know what could have gone there. Alright, bro, bro. <laughs> no worries. Glad you could stop by. True, Archie. You are just that good. That is true. Three fours. I think this should all be fours still. Yes, it's still all fours. I think we can officially abandon this zone unless we shoot something here and it comes back to that zone. Because that could also happen. Because I don't know what's going on with this zone. I don't know if there's going to be anything there. Thank you, Wyatt. I'm uh, probably not going to bring back Realistic Hunts Brody. It was a pretty unpopular series for me. And obviously, since I do content uh, not only for entertainment, but also as a way to support my family, with content creation being uh, what I do for a living, I have to not only think of, like, what type of videos I enjoy doing and what you guys enjoy watching, but also the stuff that makes sense for the amount of time that has to be put into it. Uh, realistic Hunts took a long time to make each episode. Because I was trying to be realistic and cinematic, it took a long time just to make one episode. And because of that, uh, considering they were some of the worst performing videos I've ever created, it's not necessarily a good use of my time to continue that series. When a lot of the other videos that you guys watch very consistently are much less time consuming to make. I would rather make like three or four of the videos that you guys love watching than one video that'll probably perform poorly. So there's definitely nothing here. Oh gosh, I hope they didn't spawn there. What do you guys think? Do they spawn over there? I hope not. That's going to be terrible if they did. If they did, we're going to have to try and delete that zone, I think. Because that's going to be even worse if they're down there. I bet they are. I didn't think about that. I didn't think about that one. I forgot that there was a zone they could go to down there. I was hoping deleting this zone would cause them to go here. But I think instead they've gone down here. <laughs> I know, right, Archie? <laughs> it's crazy to me that some people think that, though. There are some people that actually think that way. If I was doing it just for the money, I'd be grinding Black Bear on stream right now. Because that's the big thing. That's the popular thing, is going for the Great One Black Bear. If I, was, if I was in it for the money, I'd be going for Black Bear Great Ones and doing Rev on Tuli Coast streams. But instead, I'm hunting Red Deer, because it's what I enjoy doing. Though this is the way that I make a living, it's uh, not the only reason that I do YouTube. 
I started YouTube just wanting to share my content with other people and be able to share my adventures with everyone and then it just happened to turn into something which I'm very grateful of. Incredibly thankful for uh, the incredibly rare opportunity that I've been given with the channel. You silly red deer. Why? Why this zone? <laughs> no. Oh gosh. It's even worse than I thought. We gotta get these to delete and move down here again. We have to. I just, I can't have them up here. This is a terrible spot for them to be. It's such an inconvenient zone. So we'll kill the three big stags and then probably kill a hind as well to try and get them to move. Cannon, thank you so much for the super chat again, dude. Really appreciate it, man. Thank you so much, my dude. What is the best animal to hunt if you're trying to make money? I would say probably red deer. They seem to be pretty absurd for cash, as you guys have probably seen just from this stream. Red deer are an insane money maker. No, he dodged my shot. I think I hit the hind. Which isn't bad because we need to get her down as well, but... Wasn't aiming for her that time. <laughs> oh, I love it when they flop like that. I love it when they flop like that. It's so hilarious. Uh, yeah, Gavin. We got a troll piebald legendary stag. Quite sad to see. We got trolled by a piebald stag. Uh, Friends Club, thank you so much for the super chat again, dude. Really appreciate it. How did you get so famous? I mean, I don't really consider myself to be famous. I I wouldn't really say that I'm famous, but it was just a lot of a lot of hard work on the channel, uploading consistently, always trying to improve the videos for you guys, and really just having an awesome community like you guys that share the content with others and are always here to support everything that I do on the channel. Without you guys, this channel would literally be nothing. It is massively because of you guys that the channel is what it is today. Because without people watching the videos, the videos would be nothing compared to what they are now. So thank you guys. Because without y'all, I would not be able to do this. That would be cool, Caleb. That would be really cool. Oh, yeah, that would have uh, that would have been rough, uh, Benjamin. <laughs> I did shoot a legendary with it, though. I did that on purpose, though, just to see what it felt like. And I gotta say, it was interesting. It didn't feel right, but... I kind of liked doing it, not gonna lie. Sadly, we won't be able to delete this zone in one go. I mean, actually, technically we just killed both of them, so it should delete it. Uh, Cannon, thank you for the super chat again, man. Really appreciate it, dude. Yeah, I can imagine, James, I can imagine. But with as many as we've been seeing this grind, uh, I wanted to see what it was like at least once. Is the 512 Rocky Elk big? I've got one. Yeah, it's really big, Brody. Any Rocky over 510 is pretty large. Alright, another quick check to this zone. Let's see if it's changed since the beginning of the stream. There's always a chance that some of them could have moved here. Really hoping they didn't, but... There's always a possibility. Imagine there's just a great one chilling in this zone right here. No. There's a good one, though. There's definitely a... Possible legendary. I can't even tell, really. No, not a legendary. Definitely not. Uh, that's a seven. Gotta be a seven. 
Uh, this guy is a five. We got a five there. Oh, big mythical. Okay. And a five. Okay, well then. So we're gonna have to kill that mythical probably at some point. I'm not gonna do it this stream though because I'd have to run all the way around. But anyway, guys, we're gonna end it there. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, the stream. We uh, managed to get ourselves a total of, I believe, 13 level nines with one of them being a troll piebald legendary. This has been a pretty, uh, pretty amazing stream. So thank you all for being here. But we will be back tomorrow with another one. Until then, thank you all for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.